welcome to week number some odd of the amateur dota 2 season 31 contender league i am alleviate and we are back here today we missed last week i was very sick after getting the second vaccine dose but i'm back this week and we've got another awesome matchup as always pot of envy versus i bought artifact for the dota plus who apparently their acronym is ibad so we're going to be calling them ibad unless i feel like saying their full name which i kind of like i bought artifact for the dota plus i'm guessing if you bought artifact back way back when it came out the game then you got dota plus for free maybe or you got some shards i don't know so tonight we're going to have enough two co well, i guess four co-casters we've got we've got um tomo of course and barry the famous barry as far as real people that are not vir vir visually present we're going to have indeed as you see down there and let's see if i can add the next person a surprise last minute edition harbinger harb so i will attempt to get them on this thing here we go start voice call I officially started a call and then I'm going to add someone else add wait what do I do add friend well that's depressing well I'm not friends apparently with either one of them on discord so this will be really interesting yeah Hey, hey, we're not, we're not friends, so I can't add Indeed to this. Oh wait, no, now we're friends. Okay, let's add yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Create group. Okay, now we're all here. Uh, oh, you saw it. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, but now we're at least in the thing. Okay, let me, let me look at your, you want to say more words? I just turned you up all the way. Okay. Hello, uh, hello again. Whoa, that's way better. Now hello. you're like as loud as me. That's that's good. Okay. 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 How about you, indeed? Do you wanna say something? Uh, test, test. This okay, I gotta I gotta turn you up. Okay, do it again. Testing two, two testing. Testing two. This okay. is my other testing voice. <laughs> it's a little bit quieter than the other one, even if I turn you all the way up. But I think yeah, let me really just stick my mic in front of my mouth and try there not we to go. breathe just into put it. it in your mouth. That? Just shove it in your mouth and eat it. It's yeah. no big deal. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. What? I've I've heard that just putting chips in the background of your video is is the best way to do videos. So, oh yeah, did so where did you where did you upload them? I totally did not download it's anything at all. Uploading to OneDrive, yeah, it's it's one point nine out of two point one gigabytes. Okay, well that's not on, that's on not really gonna happen. Did you? No. Is it like I a really agree. long video or something? It's like ten minutes, but ultra you know, high quality. You can just oh, it's like ten eighty p. Unfortunately, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, and sense. the problem, oh. the biggest problem is I had it uploaded into two places at once by accident because I like put it into a folder on OneDrive and then put it into another folder on OneDrive and then it was double uploading. Oh, dope. Cut the speed in half. Uh, yeah. Ali, by the way, since I'm not finishing out this season, if you want a co-caster for the rest of the season, I am here. You will always and be here. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't finish out the season because playing on US East right now for me puts my ping at 300 for some fucking reason. What? Very are you fun. are you not near US East? I have no idea where you are. I I'm see US you. West. Oh, and it's that bad. Jeez. Yeah, I, I have like a overheating issue with my computer that was causing latency, so playing is like near impossible. However, I can easily watch games without lagging. It's very strange. That is really weird. Well, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah. yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Did they find a sub for your team? Or did they just yeah. forfeit? Oh. Allegedly. All, uh, the last thing that my captain wrote is, it is meme time. That was uh, <laughs> six minutes ago. Meme time. Okay, okay. If y'all hear barking in the background at some point, um, my dogs feel this strong need to defend the house at all times. That's, a good, that's a good feeling. My, do my dog has the same thing. Yeah, I've got like a Dalmatian who apparently they're just like very protective. Um, the other dog just wants to be friends with everyone, so if you walk by the gate, he'll just cry. 
but oh Aww. no. Are you protecting you from like the, the outside, or protecting you from yeah. yourself? Okay. I think all of the above, honestly. He he he'll come and like cuddle you, but also battle everything that tries to get to the gate. That's pretty fun stuff. I don't I don't have any pets, so I'm not I don't have to worry about that. I don't have that responsibility. Yeah, you have the cat. You know, the cat and the keyboard. Oh the, yeah, I got the, like, the dog cats, barking. Yeah. If I had a cat, I'd ever... be doing that. All you have to do is just kind of like just run your forearm across your keyboard and then like stick it on some keys for a few seconds and then run it the rest of the way across and you can simulate it perfectly. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Exactly what the cat would do. <laughs> Precisely. They just run there for it right now. Um, hmm. Are we supposed to, am I supposed to join some lobby at some point or what do we I do? Will... Oh yeah, I mean we could. Yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll join the lobby when it comes up. A lot of envy is supposed to be creating up. it, so... It probably won't be for a while. It's, it's kind of early. I mean, yeah, and Biggie's uh, busy playing Seven Days to Die right now. What? Biggie, what are you doing? Biggie seven just days does to not die. play Dota recently or whatever. <laughs> Actually, recently. when was his last Dota game? Oh, oh, no. When was his last... Yeah. I'm checking. Oh yeah, Seven Days to Die. Wait, what, what game is that anyway? Seven days. It's a five. survival game. Have you heard of the forest? I have not. I uh, have. Yeah, it's just like this survival game. There's yeah, a lot of survival games out there. Last game was three days ago. Hmm. That was his last Dota game. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it was not Dota. Quit, so. that, that's essentially like a full. I'm not, full I'm not for a Dota player. I'm not surprised. He said he's gonna take a break after this season probably so it has been a solid three seasons oh i mean since i since i first started watching them whoa my my mmr went up i didn't even know i played any ranked games whoa that's surprising. what's your mmr right now i have no idea but i'm in a higher percentage in my in ancient so that that's something oh uh. i am currently 11 percent to divine three right now so wow Oh yeah, you're, you're legit. I'm... My goal is to hit Immortal by the end of the summer, so... I'm at 40, 50. I'm Legend 2. Touch. We got a nice distribution of people here. This, this is great, this is great. I'll pretend like I, I mean, know what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I, started, cast, last, so I started last season Legend 3, I think. Maybe Legend 4. Nice. You got so serious. That's what was the big bad. turnaround? Did you like? What? No, I just got a, I just got a good patch, and then I hit divine. <laughs> and okay, you can't just be the patch. Me, so. Going that far up, come on. I, I mean, that the sounds fact... like you just quit studying. No, uh, the <laughs> fact that there's a big difference uh, between being able to play, uh, basically only being allowed to play two heroes and a specter. And then all of a sudden being able to play PL, AM, Jug, like all like my best heroes, like that kind of helps, so. Okay, okay. I have not played PL in like 10 days though. It's very sad. How terrible. No, I just don't feel like playing him though. I seem to usually play support when I'm playing with my usual group, but I don't know, it's weird. I, I mean, I think I'm better at carry. But carry gets so boring sometimes. Support, and you, you, get, you get blamed a lot if you're the carry and you don't carry hard enough, then everyone gets mad at you. Oh, I know, I know that feeling. <laughs> well, because you're always, yeah, I've you're always. That, the I've had that. Well, yeah, I have had that. That happens a lot here. I had a win to like hardcore lost her lane to Necrophos and then blamed me for not carrying us because there was a fed Necrophos. On the it, it, it's all on you. You, you, you're the avoid. you're the win condition. If they if they give you money, then you gotta win the game for them. That's how it works. Hey, money? What? Hold oh, up. Oh, like Who's like getting paid to play. Okay, I mean like money, like in the game. <laughs> they give you the farm. They give you the gold, in the jungle and stuff. I mean, it's pay to win though. You have to pay, you, yeah. pay gold pay gold in order to w get the items you need to win the game. I knew this was just like it's just like League. You just you just pay to get the. You pay to win. 
No. I, I did see that they did it on one of the Dota Cinema things that like one of the Marana skins, the arrow is different than the not yeah. arrow skin. That was uh, crazy. Yeah. What the heck? The ba it's because of the, uh, for the Immortal one, for whatever reason, the arrow starts slightly further back. It's only, it's only like 10 units, but... It, but how, how can they even do that? Like, I, I assume they all have the same core, it's like... The, in, it's a slightly different animation because of the Immortal skin. But even, even if, like, the out. visible stuff was, was different, I always figured the actual, like, timings of everything and, like, the position of things that actually mattered was, was always identical. I didn't realize that they would ever yeah. change that. It's kind of weird. It kind of varies from hero to hero, I think. I'm glad they found that. Now I, I no longer trust every anyone anymore. I no longer trust the skins. That it's all gonna be fair. I mean, like I know, like for AM at least, the persona, uh, her blink animation is actually like half a second longer than it is for the really? main base. What's the blink? It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not that much. It's like 0.15, but it's actually a really big difference for AM. I, li I like the AM persona so much at first, slow. but I don't like her. I don't like her attack animation as much, which is a bummer. She looks so awesome, but I did, her attack animation just felt a bit off for me. Uh, I just use my ninja AM to be honest. I, but the, uh, the blind is so one. Cute. What? No, not the. I use the um the ninja mask from okay. um. Uh, from the, uh, Dire Tide set. I have no idea. Plus a moral cape. Uh, here, I will post. Do you have the Bashers? Wait, wait, what does, yeah, does he I have? Do. Is, are those his mortal ones? I have, have, like, I have oh. the Bashers. You can okay. get, you can actually, if you buy them separately, you can get them for, like, a dollar total. Oh, wow. That's cheap. Okay. Instead of together, where they cost more, or what? Yeah, together they cost like two hundred dollars. If you buy them separately, they're like one. I never That's bought anything bad. like I've only bought the the ones inside of the the books, the compendium, whatever those are called. The um. Yeah. Compendiums is that what they're called? Whatever they compendium, are. Compendium, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've only ever bought those. For some reason, I feel weird about actually like paying money and buying the things that I actually want set, like straight up. I think Joe yeah, knows how to get my money. The the gold ones, if you buy them separately, you can get for fifteen dollars total, Way less. instead of the two thousand it normally is. <laughs> Much better deal. Okay, I still don't see a lobby yet. There are a bajillion lobbies, but not ours. There isn't even an ROT versus POE. Oh, you are. You you did something. I, I got I got the link. It uploaded finally. Oh, you did. Yeah, it just took six years. Okay, that is going to be the, so here's helpful. Here's the key: if you're living in Albuquerque, don't use CenturyLink. Comcast is in fact somehow better. Well, what's the what's the speed you get? What's the bandwidth? The the actual speed I get, I was having 0.7 megabyte upload, so 700 kilobyte. Oh my gosh, that's messed up. How can you yeah, do anything it's... with... Oh, jeez. The key is to never upload. I guess upload's always the worst anyway. Like mine yeah, is, is like I'd... 20, and I had to pay extra for that. I have like 20 download or something like that. But... I have like 400 download. Yeah, 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 you upload. live in like a real city. Real people <laughs> in it. <laughs> I wish I had the fiber where I was, but I don't, I don't have that. If I was like a few uh, blocks away, I would have the, the fiber stuff, so the gig gigabit thing. West Coast, baby. Let's yeah, go. I was up in Austin and they put the Google Fiber in and it was actually not any cheaper than... So here's the key, is that like, if you lived in like one block, Spectrum or Comcast or whatever was like really cheap. And the next block over AT&T was really cheap. Like, not really cheap, like, you know, the, a normal price. Yeah. And depending on which block you were on, they had like an agreement to raise or lower their price accordingly. So what? that way they could have a monopoly. So you were there, they didn't have to compete to lower prices. They just kept the prices of whatever they wanted. That's straight and up then, illegal. That's straight up antitrust laws. That's- I mean, oh you know, God. it can be as legal as you want. You can't I, I mean, 
I mean, technically, uh, it's illegal, but yeah, legal. I, I just they're I just learned about that. It's like quote unquote not not illegal. I, I just had to do a training at my company about antitrust laws, and that is like straight up what they say you're not allowed to do. I, I the thing is that each city pays these companies to come in and lay down lines, and then you know hold the price at a certain level because the cities know the faster their internet is, the more people they get to come to their city. So yeah. give you terrible internet for that purpose. Definitely but, helps. Yeah. And they have some great way to divvy up the, the divvy up the city. So then everyone gets like exactly the same thing, but they're paying a different company. And then we can get mad at the different companies. I only have Spectrum. But then like other people have AT&T that are like really close. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have yeah, Google exactly. Fiber where I am. I, I'm in Austin, but like there's not Fiber where I am. It's only in like certain parts. So I had yeah. a friend that had yeah. it. It was so Which cool part, at first. What, it was like, are you it was at UT free. or what? Huh? Are you at UT? No, no. Well, I mean, I guess I did a while ago, but but no, not okay. not. I have a job right now, so. Gross. No, no more school for me. What did you get into there? I don't know if it's like an on-stream thing, but yeah, I, I went to oh. UT for for undergrad and grad. I went there for um, undergrad and then Georgia Tech yeah. for grad. Okay. I was, and you I went was back. computer engineering. Gotcha. Yep, yep. I had to get out after undergrad. It was, I was too much into double E and I didn't like that. So I had to switch schools to do something more interesting. That makes sense. How'd you like Atlanta? Uh, <laughs> it, it was, it, it had what I needed. That was, that was something. But not, not nearly as, not as nearly as cool as Austin. It, it's got, it's got a lot of Georgia in it, but also it has some of its own stuff is, is what I was kind of assuming. Like it is probably like Austin, right? Where you, the center of the city is like one thing, you know, its own culture. And then as you get out, like radially, the culture just like shifts. Yeah, I guess but that's I feel true. like the culture shift in Austin is less extreme as it is in like Georgia or Alabama. Having been, having been to Alabama, uh, I was in Huntsville, which is a similar, like, you know, it's a college town with like a bunch yeah, of yeah. research and then it's where NASA is. And then you leave and, you know, no one has all their teeth anymore and you're just like confused <laughs> and <laughs> you go back and you're like, oh, well, all the normal stuff's here and you leave like two minutes out and yeah, it's just it kind of like a jarring experience. I will, I will say that. I, I didn't I didn't really make many friends and I didn't really travel much far outside of the little bubble that was that was yeah. school and like the nice part of stuff. But I did I didn't have a car so I took the train and the bus places for things and oh, yeah, yeah. there's other sides of the town for sure. Getting a car like changes a city or town completely. Do you guys see the lobby? I still don't see it. I'm I keep refreshing. I keep checking my Discord in I, case someone said it. POE versus iBad. There we go. Oh, What's the password? Oh, don't say it out loud. Oh god. Oh gosh, you don't say. Oh wait, I put in the oh, yeah, password. It didn't work. It, so. Did they oh, put the wrong password? Yeah. Let me go check the website again. Okay, I put in the right password and it didn't work. I put in the right, I put in the right password as well. Let's try the other normal yeah. passwords. Yeah. Okay, it's not that one. Okay. Okay, it's now it works. It's not six nine six nine, which is the normal password. How do they change? Can they change the oh, password worked, once it's it already worked, in? It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yeah, yeah. Can one of y'all send it to me so that I can enter this lobby? Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's, it's the same password. The one it's on the website. It's on the website. It's on the website. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just put it in our Discord chat because I'm not sharing that with anyone. Okay, yeah. That's not on the stream. Wait, we're on the stream right now if you didn't know. I mean, I, I hope you assumed yeah. we were. But... I assumed, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, I didn't actually say this. it. Whoa! No. Who is that? Who is Crap. Comcast? Is my daddy? Or I can't see the daddy, but that—that's me. That's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Everyone's just swapping around. I should teams. probably turn in-game mic on. That'd probably be good. In-game mic on. Oh yeah, yeah. Open if you want to be mic, part of the official client. Broadcasters. Options. Make sure to mute co-broadcasters. For so sure. Will be For sure. Double. Open mic. Party. Open mic. Uh, yeah, it's. 
Uh, no, yeah, team. It's on the team one. The bottom one is the one I always click. Okay, and then you co-broadcast. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. There's been plenty of times where the other person has Use it, and it's captions. like a one-sided conversation. It's kind of funny. Oh man, we got. All right, so so one thing really quick. Uh, Pot of Envy is using a Pot of Wrath stand-in in Mr. Burrito, I think, for the fourth position. I was gonna ask who that yeah. was. Mr. Yeah, Burrito. This is... Is not here. So what Mr. Burrito normally does is it's typically the case that the five position is like the weakest on whatever team they're playing against. Um, I think it still is the case. It might be the four or the five. I, we we were not sure whether or not the four was a Smurf because he just like gained one KMMR of over the course of like the past season, but for 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 uh, Ibad. But um, in either case, Mr. Burrito, what he does is you pick him some dominant four position, and he just runs train on whoever is the counterpart support in that lane. Um. So like last time, I think he like solo killed. He solo killed a, a Grimstroke with a um, Dark Willow, like a couple of times. So wow. so. Did you, guys, um, did you guys have you guys played Ibed yet or no? We have not. No, we've not been high enough. Yeah. They're so good. We were gonna play them this week if we'd won they're, both. They're, they're but... number one. I should have said that up front. They haven't. They haven't lost the game yet. They're, they're yeah, ten they... and they're using the Mad Max uh, averaging rule to <laughs> to grab a few really high ancients and then um, got some like some archons. I think like a crusader or something at one point when they were. Oh. Uh, they have two archons, one legend. Their pause four is ancient one right now, and their mid is ancient four. Yeah, but we yeah. So they're averaging out okay, but but they're very wide distribution. I mean, they're technically above the average right now. They all gained an MMR, or at least a lot of them gained an MMR after the thing. The, the, okay, okay. So they are very good compared to the bracket that they're in. Well, Pot of Envy's got this. I'm, I'm feeling it. It's I mean, be, so Pot of Envy has a distinct advantage in that Phantom is a monster. If you, like, give him any amount of space, he will just consume all of that space and convert it into gold. So uh, their typical strategy... Models. So he What's no that? longer had stress. He also just finished the uh, final. Oh, no, stress, yeah. So he no longer stressed. So the typical strategy is Snowstorm is fairly solid in terms of like laning and getting gold. And then GSP is kind of insane. Like just like mentally, but also like just in terms of how he plays. <laughs> he, he goes and just obtains like he's, he, he's like the opposite of Phantom, where Phantom like goes and absorbs all the space. He like creates space, right? He goes and like goes insane and attacks people that doesn't make sense and creates space for Phantom, and they tend to just rotate us for protect one, and Phantom wins the game at some point, and it works pretty well for them. They're they're, they're good at it. GSP is like you know he might be insane, but he's really good at like axe calls and centaur stomps and all these things, right? Like he he's fairly solid on his role. So with the last um, week series against against y'all, I was. That was it. Was like one on one, right? Did they lost the second game? I didn't watch the second. Yeah, one. Yeah, they lost the second game. The second game, they had this combo of Doom plus Grimstroke, and they weren't able to get the fights. So they basically, what I was doing, I was I was initiating with a sand game to them, and then like the fight just got too hectic, and they couldn't use their combo. So they they just took a lot of fights that were like slightly suboptimal and they ended up not succeeding in most of them and um, you guys had the better yeah. draft game too as well so yeah we had we had an od against their ember spirit which meant that we like won the mid lane and then the pl versus sanking lane is not very good for pl and then our dragonaut just got a lot of space well. so it wasn't too bad yeah you didn't get a hood on pl as well so it yeah. became super hard cool cool well yeah, we're, we're in the game now and the game has started. Let's do a little intro thing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to game number one of week number, what, like six? Week number something? Of yes, the six. Amateur Dota 2 Season 31 Contender League. Got a best of two tonight between iBot Artifact for the Dota Plus, aka iBad, 
versus Pot of Envy. And I'm Olivier casting with Indeed and Five Harp. We've got two casters. Pretty exciting. Want to say hi? Hello. That was Harp. Hey, I'm Indeed. There we go. There we go. And they both play on other teams. Harb is, well, Harb was playing in the Divine League. That's like two leagues up. Radiant and Indeed is, Radiant, plays on Pot of Wrath, like one of the sister teams or brother, whatever you call it, in the Pot of yeah. Sins family. Yeah. So one thing really quick. Coaching Envy too, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've forgotten about that part. They, they, so in their cast with Fatty Fat, um, AKA uh, Biggie, they kept mentioning that they were going to have to answer to you after the game if they messed up. Yep. Let's That's smoke now so that Harb doesn't get mad at us. Oh gosh. So this this opening ban here from Ibad is pretty strong. Um, the two preferred heroes for so Phantom's preferred carry is Phantom Lancer, and then uh. Snowstorm has been going off on the puck in his last few games that he's played it, so banning those out is a, is a good idea from iBad to keep him off comfort. Yeah, I don't yeah. know anything about iBad, but banning out a Skyrath and a Timber seems really targeted. Th those must be like the two most targeted picks I've seen in a while. Yeah, not meta. so Timber is one of Max's like most played heroes, and um... Skyrath, I believe, is just like a real uh, comfort pick. Like, uh, generally speaking, Ibad has been picking like these supports that like have a ton of range and kind it's of like Lina. control from afar. Yeah, so Lena is an example. Pugna is also one of those. Skyrath as well. Um, but they have a good opener here with the Tide Lena. So I'm kind of worried for Tide Hunter the... versus. Tusk isn't tied weak to a tusk rotation, especially like a um, tusk stroke. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if, as long as Alina makes sure that the lane is pulled back, that shouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, this is assuming this is a four tusk, which Burrito has always refused to pick on our team, but I guess you know he just treats Envy better than he does Wrath. I see how it is. Uh, He's the guest. He's the I'd guest. I'd be very surprised if this is a five tusk because Biggie. I does not play Tusk. Yeah, I've never seen that. Three. And he's played three good is the Yeah. I don't know if I told GSP you is Tusk. not to play three Tusk, so. <laughs> Especially without Necrobook. Yeah. No, I bet I bet's banning out the rest of some more favorite heroes. I know GSP loves Night Stalker, and Jug's obviously just Jug is the carry. Everyone just loves him, and I know Phantom is Phantom was pretty good at Life Stealer, picking out all the. All the comfort picks. Phantom is a hard person to ban out. I think that you don't target Phantom. I think you target... You would want to target someone like Snowstorm or GSP, who's a bit... Who, they're, they're like, you know, legend players, not the ancient player who can play everything, right? I don't understand quite this Juggernaut Lifestealer ban. Maybe those are just... Uh, tied. They're, yeah, they're good heroes against Tide, though. I think uh, if Pot of Enemy is smart, they just pick up the Slark here. Uh, pairs super well with the Tough Scan Grim Stroke here. Uh, does struggle against Selena a bit in lane, but really good against Tide. I'm so, hoping we see some, some kind of awesome combo with Grim Stroke. Because Tuss doesn't really... Well, I guess he got double Walrus Punch, but that's about it at the moment. Double Walrus Punch? Uh, or is it, does that work? Does Double Walrus Punch it does, work? It does not work that way. Oh, they go oh. troll. So that, I like this uh, a bit that more. Yeah. That was a other option, really strong lane hero. Because uh, I'm just worried about Biggie about getting... Lena. Yeah, I'm worried about Biggie getting just like beaten up by this Lena over on the side and then Tide gets a free lane. Oh, and why so burn? the troll can help out any sort of... any sort of Grimstroke stuff the try the tide or not tide troll can help with that so that might make us stronger i am not a fan of this wyvern hero even against troll uh, against yeah against i think against troll it's actually kind of meh okay um, personally speaking like yeah sure you can like curse him during his ult or whatever or just cold embrace 
Uh, but you have a Tusk who's probably going to be going, like, Blink Dagger, like, first item after, like, getting Medallion or whatever. Just beating him up and killing him. Yeah, and just beating him up. And Pot of Envy, like, if they really wanted to, they could just, yeah, they'll pick a Hex here. Yes. Even more jump to just get on top of the two supports there. And Wyvern overall is a super weak laner, so they need a really, they need a really strong carry here. And right now, in like there's they ban they them ban out, right? out they, yeah they ban out the life stealer which is probably the only carry left in the pool right now that can actually lean against axe tusk dude that's gonna be tough if you got so, any melee you gotta have someone can escape because axe tusk is just ridiculous uh gyro is yeah, no. an option the problem with it is that troll goes up super well against gyrocopter um so i don't i don't know if they'll necessarily want that uh, it's okay in lane against Axe. It kind it kind of goes uh, both ways. And there's just like the standard kill. like PA is not great against Axe. Yeah. Uh, terrible. Uh, it's okay really bad them. PA. Really bad PA in TB game. Um. It, it gyro seems like a good idea. You got all the magic damage. You got the stun. It's like it's not like focused all about bit. the physical. Honestly, I would actually just go like Weaver or something, if I were Ibad. Oh, that's a good idea like, too. That could work. It, it's oh, doing the carry not, it's not super great. No, it's not super <laughs> great against uh, Axe. No, apparently. But like you can survive the lane at least. I know Slaughter got buffs, but no. Uh, yeah, you. Weaver also is good against the lack of lockdown. Like the only lockdown they have is an Axe. But no, they have the Good call. Good call. That's fine. Unless it's a Weaver but, again, player, you don't pick Weaver, right? It's just yeah. yeah, yeah. I, again, just uh, really Northland. bad match carry matchup into the troll. But... They're relying on this wyvern a lot to like carry yeah. this game essentially. Yeah. Uh, carry through the mid game Team at fights. the moment because yeah. yeah, they have two farm uh, farming cores on the side lanes and the tide and gyro already. Uh, so they'll need to pick something active for insane chaos. Um, Storm comes to mind, well, any of the spirits for the yeah, matter come spirits. to mind. Um, and, uh, Queen of Pain is also super good. Oh, but they ban out Queen of Pain, so. They could OD. Um, that's so boring now. That's way too, pa that's way too passive in my opinion. Well, but it's snow. Snow is, well, they, is, is, is always just passive. So, I mean, what, what else do you expect? No, 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 no. So for, uh, oh, you're talking about Pot of Envy? Uh, oh, yeah, OD? yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I still think Pot of Envy needs more cat. Like, they need reach, right? So they ban out the storm on iPad, realizing, like, yeah, it's a really okay. free storm game for And we got to get, like, envy. Void or, or Ember. Yeah, one of the um, spirits. I know Snow doesn't play Void Spirit. Like, I, he's not comfortable on the hero, so I doubt they'll pick it, pick it up for him. Um, there is a Viper. It's an okay he loves Viper. Ember game. Take out Kraken Shell. There is Viper. Yeah. Not not too strong, but like he's very solid with that, and it's, it's at least it's a safe uh, mid lane. I think we'll, we'll wait to see who I bet picks, first of all, because they do have overall last pick on Envy. Um, True. But I would like to see more reach for both sides. They can play he Viper. I'd like to play, play Viper. With the that wouldn't be terrible. Disable all those passives. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I want someone. I want someone on Envy to like play with this tusk while the axe is like farming his blink. Um. And I bet just needs someone who can actually like carry the uh, mid game at the moment. Because, uh, again, like, they have two uh, pretty inactive supports in Lena and Wyvern. Like, they don't really want to rotate around all that much. And Tide and Gyro are both farming cores, so. So you're thinking something like a Void, I don't know, is a Void Spirit banned out? Like a Void Spirit to play Void Spirit's not banned out, but it's it, it's a decent Void Spirit game for Iabad. Uh, I was thinking for a pot of it, be honestly, if you're playing with the Tusk. Yeah, for sure. Um... So if they don't time. go Void Spirit, they... I mean, they could just go, like, Death Prophet, maybe. Oh, yeah, just Snow loves Death Prophet. Grab him. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good so pickup. That's a good pickup. Yeah, I think they just go, like... I mean, the Viper's not bad. It's okay. 
K into DP. It, it kind of goes both ways. To you kind of want to win your lane though, pretty hard if you're Viper, right? Like if yeah, you, you do. Come on, even you're kind of screwed. Yeah, you do. Um, I know he likes TA, but TA isn't particularly like awesome in this in this matchup. Uh, it's okay. It's okay into DP. It provides a mm -hmm. good pace for Envy. Um, but it can be pretty rough against uh Wyvern. Shadow Fiend. Oh, yeah. No. It's totally Shadow Fiend. No, I'm just looking uh, at, like, that's Mars. a pretty hard to play in the uh, Wyvern Lena again. Like, Mars and Pango could be good for pacing as well if you just want someone to run at people and play alongside the other two heroes. I mean, if Snow played Void Spirit, like, this is a really good Void Spirit game for them. Yeah. But I don't think he doesn't play Void Spirit, so. Uh, you know, you just click the R button, you move forward. It's it's a. Uh... Yeah, I told you. Oh, wow. I told you. It. it does feel confident. I was feeling it. Okay. So does he play magic damage like you? No, he goes think? physical. He plays he physical. physical. Well, that's a set though. This guy's ready. You, he, he, you he's played help. a lot of Shadow Fiend. He's he's pretty good at it. Pretty good. He plays Shadow Fiend. He hunts deers. You know, like I can see everything from this set. I have never seen this skin before. What in the world is this? It's like you have a leaf breastplate and then like <laughs> you say like kill the deer protector. and you're wearing a deer on your head. It's what like a tramp protector. Or just oh, a tramp yeah. to deer. Tramp protector shadow fiend. With horns. Cyclops to devil deer. <laughs> I mean, I, I see um, a few cool sets in this game. I would not I think know what was happening Envy's, about playing in it. I think Envy's draft is better here because they have proactive cores. Oh, they're actually gonna make it a mid Lena. Okay, again, it's so, so. Oh. So they'll make it a pause 5 DP. Five. That's DP, smart, okay. yeah. that's smart. 5 that's DP. Lena's got the range, has the, the lane. I like the use. call, yeah. Yep. It's super good against SF and lane. So. This just means that they need to go shove the game in, I guess, harder, like shove the lanes in harder into them, cause more chaos early, I assume. Because like, once the DP hits like 12 with a BKB on a 5 position, like. That feels pretty bad. Uh, uh, I shall probably get Zorkarst, uh beforehand. Yeah. Well, I, it'll be a long while before she like goes for a BKB, I think, on the Death Prophet. But are they worried about like pushing their advantage early? I, I see Pot of Envy is having power spikes earlier on. Um, outside of Ravage. Like, the, the, the oh, allows we've got, we've got all the team fights I on think, I actually think Envy scales better personally, just because the core matchup is so much better. So and they take a few towers and actually hold the space. Yeah. Um of course Ibad does have the better team fight. Um yeah. but I think Envy one they they do they should have the better lanes in my opinion, outside of mid. So their side lanes should actually go pretty well. And Shadow uh, doesn't lose mid. Um, against Lena, uh, he actually can. It's so like the, the pretty easy rough because of the range matchup. The, the hard camp is very stackable from the off lane, and then the oh, easy yeah, camp for sure. is very stackable from the mid lane. So he might he has some catch up potential. I'm a bit confused on. So I assume then that with this Tusk and Grimstroke combo and the Axe combo, like they just want to take a bunch of skirmishes away from the tide hunter right like are they just going to avoid tide or just pick him off or what's what's the optimal plan for uh, here honestly if you can uh set the tide hunter behind uh, that'd be really good uh if you can delay like so early on first item or whatever yeah so if you get like an early vanguard and blink on this axe like that i think that'd be ideal because then you can kind of just run at them there's nothing that i bad can really do about that because uh, they don't have really good disengage outside of just straight up dropping curse, which you don't necessarily want to do. We're gonna see a fight here. Is there an engagement? I love this skirmish here at the bottom rune. Vibrant pops the gush. flying thing, gush on a GSP. Uh, Stun on a GSP, he's getting slow, he's probably gonna go down. There's Crypt's four man, one more hit down and goes to insane chaos. First blood. First blood. They got they got some slows. So they leveled Let's see if Phantom goes for this rune over here. No, he didn't bother. But oh, maybe uh, he'll he will. Get both. He'll get both. He's going for good both. Good play, good play. Oh, it's the gush though. I don't know. Uh, so troll. Oh, he's it's troll. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that was an exciting first blood. 
Wait, so so who's your so, picks? At Envy or or iBad? You gotta make a commitment now. Who do you I think? think Envy is the better draft, personally. Envy has uh, burrito. Like think... this is an easy win. <laughs> I think iBad's just too passive for the uh, long games. I, I gotta vote for I gotta vote well, for them too. They're, I would say whenever good. you have this much team fight, it's possible to like just always just lose a game on the side of this is GSP's typical level one not shenanigans. But yeah, it, it, with this much team fight on iBad, it's always possible at this level to just like lose a game. Yeah, four team fight ultimates all chained together. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Interesting that Jaro took Rock Barrage level one. Most people actually nowadays take the homing Rocket, missile level yeah. one because it's insane. Uh, it's a really good damage and stun early on. Uh, really mana efficient for what it does. I think it may have been just for the level one fight because it's much easier to. Biggie's taking a lot of damage. Biggie, be careful. Okay. I Dang mean, it. even for the level one fight, the missile would have been better. Yeah, it's pretty good up against. I mean, I think it's this. Nice setup. Well, level two, I'm sure they're gonna move in. One more creep. There we go, level two. Get it. There's the missile. Come on. Nope. It should just be dropping missile off cooldown, to be honest. But it is what it is. Mr. Burrito. So they're still not going. Okay, so how's mid going? Still lands on snow, snow so takes some damage. He's got the bottle though. They both got bottles. Snow's not having a very oh, good time. Water. Maybe we can nuke him here? Oh! Combo! Do oh, he doesn't have any mana! Oh, he's got- oh no! Oh no! Oh, he used the shard Oh, I missed that pill! He missed that pill! He missed that pill! He's not gonna have oh, it! No. Oh god, that was so- He missed messing. the pills and walked it out. Stairs, there. He needed it a tiny bit of mana. Downstairs. He could have been attack moving perhaps, but like he would have had to turn 180 to get back up the stairs. Yeah. Whereas Insane Chaos could just walk up them as he attacked. So this is, oh, this is not well so by Biggie good. on to shove. A little bit of damage. Biggie standing around quite a long time as always. Stroke of feet. No mana left on Mad Max though. They actually made this. There she go. There's a slow oh, one to shove. He's dead. probably going to go down. And there he goes. Oh, Phantom's Curry goes down. Totally worth it. I don't know, at this point, if I were Phantom, I would be pinging Biggie for not saving the carrier too there. <laughs> but. It's hard to pay attention. But they got a kill. That's something. Do we agree with this shards into. or tag team into shards instead of tag team into snowball? Like, what's. Like, uh, why I think just it's. Fly away, right? Yeah, I would have preferred snowball as well. Um, if he was ganking more, it would make sense. Uh, but, like, tied. you can get. Yeah, you can get kills on the chat with the uh, shards. Oh, this really yeah, hurts for a snowstorm game. here. He can't even see us under his tower. Oh, there we go. Mina's doing so much damage. Oh yeah, gosh, she's, people she's are dying at top and bottom. Yeah. Down goes Husket. Bottom and at top. Biggie, one more hit. Biggie goes down as well. And back at bottom, oh. GSP goes down to <laughs> three in a row. Everyone's dying. Finley gets a little bit low, but doesn't quite fall. Three quick kills for the side of iBad. Tusk almost is level three. I might even go sit behind, like in the shadows of some lane somewhere, and then try to gank. Because I feel like he, he could probably be getting some ganks off on this lane before she hits six or something. Just with that uh, snowball and the ice shards, right? Yeah. Well, once he gets sure. he's got snowball now, so he should be able to kill someone. I mean, you're. I this mean, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see him actually rotate mid and help with this SF out. Yeah. Like even with Alina hitting six, like they could still get a kill easily on this Lena because, like, again, it's a Lena. She's playing so for forward. She's pushing it in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and denying oh, too. So mean. Honestly, I think that Lena should be kicked out of this league for denying that group there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell Mad Max. Yep, Mad Max. That was uncalled for. That was just bad manners. I'm gonna. Create some drama inside of the, oh, the Discord. The... They're pinging out. Oh, SF, no. Snow, he commits. He turns around, looting blade oh. in the face. Can't do anything about it. That's when you need to have like six different fairy fires and use them all at once. Um, or have a teammate TPN. 
That would have. That wouldn't. That, that that doesn't make sense. No. I mean, this does just he needs to rotate and he's not doing that. So. Yeah, he he TP'd bottom, which is why he couldn't TP there. Um, oh, okay. He didn't even need to TP mid. Like he like honestly, he can't really play bottom just because like this wyvern. Like wyvern gyro is pretty strong. They have a ton of kill potential on you. And they're not um, even like getting like pulls off. Yeah, but like his job this game is honestly like he should. Well, like fuck whatever the axe is doing. Like it, SF's kind oh, of gonna Biggie popped in spell. Here, so it lands on sure his one, down the but spirit on. siphon. Slow by the troll, but Biggie want two more hits for a crypt swarm, and down goes Biggie once again. Phantom wants to get a gets the root, but gets slow, get gushed. Bad Max pops the tango. Phantom, you got to be careful. This is not happening. Very fire popped by Shuck it's and he wants it to or not. oh god, oh, down goes whirling. Phantom. Was whirling enough for a kill there? Probably not. No. Not with the not with the, the wands and stuff. Yeah. It would have been very close. Over at bottom, they get the taunt onto Gyro. Gyro's taking a good amount of damage, but so is GSP. There's the rocket the holy missile goes out and the rocket barrage down goes GSP. And Mr. Brito should be soon to follow. Rocket barrage the more hits. Heroes to dive on. Oh! There's this a charge, hurts. TP. Well done. He managed to push himself to the other side of the trees there. This guy is literally crit. Oh no, Lena's got invis. Weird. Snow, I feel your uh, doom approaching. Snow, he use your sixth sense. It. You feel it. Uh, spidey senses. No oh. spidey senses. You feel no, it. Oh, it. you don't feel yeah. it. Oh, but no mana for Laguna. There, cancel it. Cancel it. I don't give her mana. Don't mana let her bottle up. Laguna. No, you let her bottle up. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're all good. We're good. Honestly, that was a really good trade for Snowstorm. <laughs> He's allowed oh, to good. play Dota still. You did it, Snow. Uh, I'm surprised. It's a hard decision. This axe should, uh, this axe should have gone a hood against Kajara the Wyvern. Like he, like he's rushing in phase, but it's like, like you can't lane here just because there's so much magic damage. That, that's just GSP's build. Gone. I think he, he knows the build he wants to do when he's doing it. I'm worried because I see three heroes who want to farm to get their items now because. Uh, Shadow Fiend's behind, Axe still wants to have a Bleak Dagger, like, I see three heroes wanting to take up space and no one is going to be making space. Well, we got um, Ravage yep. up on Tide. He's posturing up and he pops to Ravage. Spirit Siphon, head of not level 6 yet, and he goes down. Biggie should be soon to follow. He popped Inkswell. Maybe Bad Max might go down. It's only level 1 Inkswell, though. Stroke of Fate in like a second. Bad Max Please is playing it smart. Oh, ho, ho. oh. He played it so smart, he came back so there wouldn't be enough creeps in the way. Or else he would have died if there were too many creeps to build up the Stroke of Fate. That was a little bit clever. Unless Strange it was on accident. Strange decision by Biggie though to walk back towards the tide though. I think he was trying to draw the creeps that way to like draw Oop, creeps between Mr. Brito him. going on to Orpheus, but Mr. Brito, you're not, you're not very tanky. Ran out. And your haste just wore off, so... Um... Oh, Biggie's coming bottom. Okay. Biggie's here too. Nice they get the taunt on the Wyvern ball. and the shards. Whoa, the shards just trapped him in. Lena's bottom. But Lena's, Lena's here. Everyone's here. Biggie's about to go down. Things does land, scared. but that's about it. GSP, they know he's there. He TPs out. Is it going to be enough? I strike already. It lands, but not quite in time. Cool. That was close. It would have been off anyways. I count Biggie's death there as just space for the other two cores, right? Like, I'm seeing Phantom now actually getting creeps. Snowstorm actually pushed a wave into tower. Like, this is this is That's going true. pretty well from that death alone. <laughs> hey, Biggie. Yeah, this Lena's gonna be getting a lot of kills here. Oh, oh that's God. a high that you don't, yeah, you don't want her snowballing out of control. Already level 10. She went Everyone needs to travel first. Drops. That's the kind of game this is. Just be everywhere now. Is she I, going boots of travel? Yeah, she has it. Fucked Jesus. up by not coming mid to slow down the Lena. What did they so, so they're already behind now, like they're 4k behind. What do they do to come back from this? Is it going to be a complete uh, lane breakdown and gank one person, or...? They they need this axe to get blink dagger or whatever, and they need to look for pickoffs. Uh, like on the support specifically, because you're not going to be... Uh, right now, you're not going to be able to kill the cores, right? The star almost has, is getting close to SNY. Um... Yeah. Like, but overall, like you still have like really good kill potential with Axe, Tusk, Grim, right? So if you can get kills on like this Wyvern and Death, probably probably the Wyvern, like that's a much easier kill. Uh, 
I'm looking at Lena with a thousand health. Like, can you kill her? I mean, sure, she's uh, really high boost speed. If, you, but... if you're able to get the jump on her, for sure. But like, she's gonna be moving around so much. Uh, it might be. You can't just play. set up. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I mean, you can kind of set up a trap. Uh, a bait of some sort. Again. Yeah. Again, pretty hard to do so at the moment. Um, but right now, you just need to make space for your SF and troll to like hit some creeps. Ooh, Jar's about to hit some stacks. This is what we came for. Oh yeah. But it's just flat cannon, it's already over. And now what? Now what oh, are you gonna God. do? AC is Rock Barrage yeah. and Zolt. Yeah, he's farming, he's actually farming pretty slowly. Ooh, is he gonna stack it at the same time? Yeah. Well, one of the camps at least. Smart move to leave the, leave the lane, the bottom lane though. Look, you, you got this clarity running, just use your ult. Come on, man. Never, use never. Your old, use rock barrage, use everything. I guess he's really trying to sanction stack fighting. for the tide hunter. That might be what he's doing. He's just taking the uh, meat for the hard camp and leaving the other one really for the tide. Oh, but really. top phantom is gonna wreck with three heroes on him. He has the ult, he already popped it, but they're just waiting until it's over. Yeah, there well, it's just like a bad call, like staying up here for like 11 minutes. Like, he should have already been in the jungle just sitting creeps and already making Way down I mean, but look at his jungle though. Where, like, the, I guess I was like, looking at the triangle. Like, the, the SF is going to be taking that. Um, yeah, they don't really have like, any vision to protect space for all. at this point. No, 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 like it's it's fine. Like he can still play his main jungle, but and then rotate to the bottom into the bottom radiant jungle. Yeah. Uh, well, Ivan barely can the TP take, in time. They did take this bottom tier one, so he can play down here. TP in by tide. With ultimate ready. And they took Mr. Burrito's curry. Nice curry. Sorry. They got so black curry. They're getting tonight. pinged out. They know you're there. Oh no. They know yeah, you're they're there. Going, uh... Ty does not have blink shards to push Wyvern a bit farther forward. Biggie, you're going to have to sacrifice yourself, I think, again. Just let, let GSP go. No, GSP, Did don't go in. Oh, okay. it's suspicious. GSP is insane, like I said. Uh, okay. You got this homing missile. Thing. You got this. Just spin your way into oblivion. Get stunned and goes down. If he spins kill. fast enough with the current shape of his blade, he can actually obtain lift and helicopter his way out. Um, but you yeah, need a lot of people attacking you. To, how fast does he have to spin? To well, it depends on the angle of attack of the blade, really. It, it, it's not shaped to be like a, a real wing. It's just more so a flat surface, so you have to like angle it a little bit to deflect the air downward. Snow pops but off, keep, but okay, it's keep in mind, he is using the persona, the um, the axe. Oh, he only has fists. Yeah, he only has. Oh, fists. he can't spin fast enough to escape okay. then. Yeah. That's that's pretty sad, honestly. That might be game losing. <laughs> Wait, hey, but you're saying you can actually out. like jump over something with axe? What? What were you saying? Yeah, I mean, basically, firstly, axes are known to do more damage than, like, just meat, which is hands are just meat, so, like, <laughs> it's clearly the case that he could have killed the gyrocopter earlier on if he had used an axe instead of just, ah, like, his fist. Very true, very true. That, that, that's my opinion. Fists don't make any sense to me. His name is Axe. Yeah. I mean, the, the idea is that he is the axe, quote-unquote, but let's be real here. The axe was the hero, not the hero, <laughs> you know? I got the corpse maker. It's my favorite axe. And it makes See, that would that would win. You would be in this game winning right now. But, exactly. Um, GSP, unfortunately, poor choices. <laughs> poor choices. Oh, they want to get this tower, but TP in by Lena. Ooh, this, this is a chance to take her out. Maybe there's a lot of heroes here. But they no don't have blink on X. So tides running around. That's ravage. Oh god. Rita's a wuss. Mad Roll. Max. Oh Roll. god, you're right here. Pop the ravage. Hits onto one, two heroes. Lena with the Laguna Blade to Biggie's face. There's a snowball forward. Biggie's actually going to get out. There's a taunt onto just Ty. There's the ult by Shadow Fiend. There's a silence. There is the Winter's Curse. Whatever. Down goes GSP to his teammate Snow. Mr. Burrito is making space on the side. They want to try to kill Snow. Shove. Shove on the side. But it's not going to be enough. Pulling Missile forward onto Biggie. Biggie, I'm sorry. You're, you're really far away from them, but you're still going to die. It's just inevitable. And there you go. That's just one point in homing missile. Too much burst damage. Yeah, they just couldn't kill. They, they focused two different heroes there. Like, the Tusk distracted, uh -huh. but the ult just wasn't strong enough from SF oh. on top of the tide. Yeah, I'm lucky that the Lena didn't see him. 
Uh, that chaos didn't see him. She just has mercy on him. Yeah, it was unfortunate they focused on the on this hide. Yeah, Tide made himself a really big target, and they just hit him. Yep. They, they obliged, and uh, he's just too huge to lock down and kill like that. And the wyvern just took advantage of it. Well, he only has a blast. Been fine if SF like had gotten like used his ult better. Like, he's pretty far away. Yeah. So only a couple souls hit the tide there. And level um, one and etc. Yeah. Tide doesn't I'm actually like surprised. Too I'm actually surprised that SF didn't just go straight to BKB first item. I think that would have been the play. He'll here. get there. That way you can actually fight earlier. You know, you just want Dragonlance to so help yourself farm a little bit faster. We're gonna have Maybe Dragonlance early in lane against Selena might have been strong, but at this point it's kind of sad just to have that. You, you don't feel useful yet still. Gotta go physical yeah. damage. All the way. Okay, y'all are playing so close. Physical. GSP, you're, you're even weaker than Wyvern at this point. I'm sorry. Yeah, actually lower level. This X is very sad. Honestly, they might have wanted to like give up some farm on some of the other cores just to get this axe blink up. Like, like just this SF is taking camps that maybe the axe should be taking. I don't know. He really needs this blink to be able to make plays. Uh, yeah. They they definitely should be prioritizing it more than they already are. Like their first timing, the the, the like big power spike that they were gonna get was this axe blink. Like you have to prioritize those power yeah. spikes. Like uh, SF needs to go make space for the axe instead of the other way around if you're trying to get the first spike up. Yeah, unfortunately like, both of them didn't have good lanes. Yeah. Wonderful. Lena's got the finished up Yules, finally. Cause her, her career got killed. So she hasn't had it for a while. Yeah, almost has four stuff as well. And DP's almost got Yules as well. Double Yules. Which is of course great for this situation. I've also heard it's the 22nd letter of the alphabet, double yules. Ha ha ha. Wait, 20 what? 20, oh, 22nd. Okay, okay. I'm guessing, you know, I don't actually speak English. It's hard to know. <laughs> that, that sounds pretty close. Pretty good for a non-English speaker. Thank you, yeah. Poor hero smoke. Uh, should be... Though the scan is scan... How do they randomly it scan the gyro? How do they have any idea? They're just gods. Like that was probably just like a biggie god scan. Are they actually well, gonna? Are you gonna catch him? Are you gonna catch him? To okay. So ball forward, ball wrist punch with the taunt and the silence, and he goes down. Hey, uh, that's good. Envy is back in the game. Stop farming this. Don't stay around so long. Yeah. Just, just, just. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Uh, okay. It's whatever. Lena decided not to come, so that's fine. Here we go. They just didn't uh, face If X turns huh? around, they can get this. Uh, they can probably get one of the uh, one or both of the sports. I mean, GSP might just be able to TP top right now. They're okay. Pop Winner's Curse on yeah. X. GSP's taking a lot of damage. Fine, Suck so. with Mr. Burrito and the Crypt Swarm the Silence. But here comes Snow. Do they want to try it? Snow with an Arcane Rune. That was just base for the two. Now that he has this blink, I want him to just keep going, right? Like, they, they go for the gank bottom. That's nice. Like TP top, sure. kill Alina, then 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 run through this, get get someone in the triangle. You know, it, it's kind of like, it, yeah, they're smoked up again. They just need to keep going faster and faster. Let's yeah. do it. Let's Trolls do it. should be pushing in the bottom right now. We've got to, snow ult. Like, We've got everyone's ulted up again. Oh, Lena, 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 do it. Oh, they didn't. Do it. She's too smart. What, why are they not going on her? There's no, a pot. There's no, a snowball. She's dead now. She is so squishy. Oh my god. They have no defense to this blink axe. Okay, Mad Max pops the ravage. She's on a four heroes, oh. right in the gyro ult, right in the crypt swarm. Dead. So much damage. Down go three at once. Still gets the ult off with the soul bind, but no. <laughs> doesn't kill anyone. <laughs> it's no storm. Gonna He's gonna die. Oh god. Oh, no. oh god. Oh god. <laughs> a very dramatic death, at least. It was not worth. They had to get out as soon as they killed her. That like, was a. They mom, were just all together. Troll should have been pushing bottom tower, but he's a busy AFK farming right now. So. Oh god, Mad Max. Would you assume if he had been pushing bottom that. Oh, sorry, go for it. Oh no, it's okay. He almost he almost died to Roche, but he's okay now. That's the danger of using Solar Crest, is you just get your ass whooped. <laughs> and having the ring of I mean, the Essence Ring. He would have been able to 
Uh, if Prol had been pushing bottom tower, he would, probably would have been able to take it, uh, if not get it down. Like, or baited some TPs, run. right? Yeah, that too. So uh, that way the fight's better. Yeah. Or maybe Lena just TPs bottom and kills him. We're not really sure what would happen. Well, but. no. So, like, what he should have done is, like, as soon as they went on Lena, he's pushing in that tower, basically. Yeah. So he waits in the trees for them to show on Lena, yeah. and then he pushes it in. Yeah. yeah. You it, like all, all you're doing is basically you're using the information of the lanes to determine where everybody is. You see Lena on the map, so then your team jumps her, and then you, like, you know, you should be able to push it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't see any other lane pushing him being pushed in, then you can just back uh, out. Lena TP's it. bottom. Like, see, it now he him. might die to Lena now because he pushed at the oh, wrong time. Oh god. She doesn't have enough mana though. Oh, she does. She has enough mana. Oh god, Laguna Blade. Not quite enough. Pops the ult, but she is way too fast for you. Uh, and TP good. in by Gyro. Okay, what's this something? Oh, I act with the blink. Okay, gets the call off, but there's one missile. Oh, Gyro though. Phantom, get away, Phantom. Oh no. Inkswell, just He's outside out of the range of Gyro ult. That's pretty good. He's out of the Pops Gyro. Pops the salve. Yeah. Mr. Burrito just gets taken down. Soulbind on a BKB 2. BKB from Sunstorm? No, he doesn't have it yet. Oh, uh, oh and here's Vax actually goes back in. Calls to Biggie's kill going Lena. down. BP's here. Drop the silence. Okay. Noah's getting, well, not slow. I think it's the last hit. hit. <laughs> Lena's so <laughs> fast. There's a taunt oh. onto just one once again. Ravage up in like 10 seconds. Snow is doing some damage. Oop, takes out the gyro. Three time streak ended. Snow is just left alone against the world once again. 1v4. Well, that was that was wasn't bad. It was one one for three, right? That's like one of the best fights so far. That was very good compared to how it started, because Phantom lived. Um, that's also pre BKB on the, the yeah. There's a BKB now on the SF. So next time they do that, he there gets like more people. Also BKB on the trolls. So yeah, good yeah. Timings, but I, I forgot. Yeah, he just picked it up. They are going A on disc on the lane. Oh, Lena's so dead. Oh yeah. Oh, Get there him. we go. There oh, we go. Still forward and attention. wait. Why aren't they? He doesn't have mana. Oh, and he, he has a wand. Pulling witch. He's still dead, though. She's not dead. Oh, she has Aegis anyway. Yeah. Oh, you know, that was just. It would have been worth if you popped it. But... It was so perfect. Yeah, oh, now they're out position. Now they're running. Okay, um, Mr. Brito. Uh, you're. You're. Dead, I'm pretty sure. Mr. Brito. He's just too just, smart just for TP. Them. Oh, no TPs. Okay, you're dead. You're you're dead. They're yeah, picking you out. Very dead. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> nice dodge with the snowball. Oh, the hauling missile's following you. No. Oh no. Oh, he's too fast. <laughs> snowball too fast. You avoided the snowball ice striker. Went but before I hit him. Not that. Fortunate. This is why you max ice shards so your snowball moves slower, and then the uh, you can actually tank that uh, gyro missile there. This is just a massive mistake. Like you should have known. Yep, gotta get the lower snowball speed. That, that's how it works. It's just a smarter play, you know. And he <laughs> just needs to level up. I think if it was on Wrath right now, we would have called it for him. So he would have done that, but it's a spot of envy, so it's hard to say. <laughs> gotta foresee all situations. Oh gosh. Okay, well, five heroes here. Three are smoked behind, or two are smoked. They're just skipping up the tower, right? Like, there's no way they'd have. Oh, they maybe. Everyone's ults are up. This probably goes up. Spirit Siphon on Biggie. Uh, they need a... Biggie pops the ink spell, but there's the fuels. There's the light shock. Yeah, there's a silence, and Biggie goes down. Very tight. I think uh, if they could have, uh, if they could have catched the wyvern while they were killing the constructor, might have been fine. But... Any shards yet? It's 24 minutes. Why does nobody have a shard? There are zero shards in the game. Uh, no shards uh, in this game really worth it outside of Grimstroke. I would. Uh, probably. I think that Laguna Blade Shard is pretty cool. And. Okay, uh, yeah, not many other shards are cool. Laguna, Laguna Blade Shard is fine, but it's not really a mid Lena item. Oh, that's true. So you that's don't true. really need it. I like Death Poppy Shard. That's pretty cool. But I guess she's honest. I'm actually surprised Insane Chaos isn't getting right click items or not. To be honest, like, the amount of damage she would be outputting right now is insane. It's a chaotically insane. Yeah. Chaos. Uh, 
The AI risk is just a reaction to the axe. Like, he, he may actually just need that because nothing else saves him from axe. If he goes for right click right now plus a BKB, axe just still kills him with the uh, blade. If I was in the right post, I would just pulled a freeze or something. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. You know, let us split push a lot more safely, too. So, what you're saying is that he needs to believe in his teammates. <laughs> yeah. What kind of Which game do you think this is? Mistake. This is a team fighting game? What are you, what are you, what are you talking Massive about? Massive mistake in pubs. If you can't trust your team in competitive play, you got Oh god, insane chaos onto Axe. GSP does not Hood. have any way to Hood. escape Hood. this. Hood. Yeah, Pops there we Hood. go, boys. Well done. Easy. Blink. It's up! Oh, he didn't oh, do it. He doesn't have quick cast. Not in time. This, kids, is why you put quick cast on your blink dagger. No. Sure, you may you occasionally. You don't need quick. You don't need quick cast. You just need to have fast fingers. Keep on button mashing. So Harb, as the coach, are you gonna like set up a training session for clicking like double clicking blink this week, or what's the plan to handle that? Double click blink there. You, know, you could have just blinked up, fine, or down as well. Basically, are you creating training sessions for them based no. upon this? No. I'll okay. Just, I'll just yell at them. You got to custom customize your training sessions to maximize maximize the results. You're using the the mobile on training method of just be disappointed in them until they get better. Oh, yeah. that hurts. Easy. That hurts. <laughs> oh. It hurts. Let's get down to business. So Gyrocopter just got his agonims, it looks like, or is yeah, I assume it was just the agonims. Yeah. Um, yeah, is that good even with just like a morbid mask? Like, is that still just like? That could have been yeah, I, I mean, I mean, Agonim's is like core engine. It doesn't really matter what your other items are. You oh, they're circling around Lena. Them. They won her. Aegis Lina is gone. And as Snow has. Lena should be screen. dead. She's gotta be dead. They can't. Oh my gosh. Come <laughs> oh, on. She's oh, Lord, too far. Where is Axe? If she just TPs out now, she's Axe. fine. Axe. Oh, Axe is right there. Axe. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Is he CSing? Oh no! GSP. Oh my gosh! GSP. That was like Holy that was the moment. Shit. Oh, that's upside. Someone's brain dead. You almost had it. You were really close. N nice try, guys. Nice try. GSP, we're disappointed in you. Well, we're very proud of the attempt. Flames, so he's getting positive reinforcement. We're very proud of the attempt. It's it's good to try. Oh, shards catches that Mad Max just for fun. Just gotta keep him aware of the shards. So long as he knows the shards are coming, he won't be going doing that again, right? Exactly, exactly. He, he'll he will learn to be afraid. Toes. He was yeah. this close to, Lena. to dying. Oh, she's that dumb. Like, I don't understand. Oh no! Uh, Actually, he just creeps. Just, oh gosh, he's <laughs> deadly. Okay, my shakari does not land. Oh no! She's so they, fast. By the way, movement speed. Why doesn't he have a, a blade mail? Is that not the item this game? Is it just the case he needs the BKB to be able to run around fights yeah, more? BKB just hasn't had the farm to get the blade mail. Yeah, they've he got so much. The they got so much to disable and silence and everything. So basically, it's the poverty build to not go for blade mail this game. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. BKB is getting close to Don Only. No. That, I, I want played against. Yeah, go for it. I want to see. Envy smoke out and try and catch Ibed when Melina is not there, or even the Death Prophet not being there. So as soon as I see her switch lanes, they smoke and go on her. Yeah. So, so like right now, I see her TP up there. Well, well not it. right now because she TP top towards her team, but uh, whenever she TPs away from her team, like you need to go at bottom. Yeah. So go push it out with Phantom and then TP pack. Yeah. I want to see trolls get satanic. You don't really need Basher immediately here. Uh, rather, you just tank up on the troll instead. And but, the uh, but Bash dispel is, just, is very Bash nice. Bash is so good though. Yeah, but the dispel is like super nice on satanic. Oh, that's a good point. Like, it's actually oh, insane. I think you just like, again. Oh god, here, it's so quick. Go. I think it's on got troll you can just go like uh, satanic at the Scotty. And then you can get like. Who's getting the shard? Please, why does Tide have the shard? Don't don't use the shard. Why would? I mean, I like the Tide shard, but it's not gonna like change the game. Oh, Tide uh, got the it's shard. It's the best on him, to be honest. Here. Okay. Compared to the other ones, yeah. Yeah, the other it, ones it, are pretty mediocre. That's true. They don't really have any good ones. 
I like Lena still. Ooh, Biggie almost walked into Lena, but nice, nice recovery. Very nice. I think the Lena shard on support Lena's is like really strong, but on core you just want so many items that you can't really afford it. Oh yeah, god, Biggie. Nope, gets Good. gushed to the face. Gets slow with Arctic Baron, and here is Lena. The Guna Blade to the face, just because she wants the last hit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, triple the mana of, of Dragon's No big deal. She's, no got, big she's deal. got cheese, she can just use it for fun. No, no big deal. So they can't... Okay, yeah, Phantom's <laughs> already deeping or moving back. Okay, no, they Phantom. can't push that lane. Oh, but Snow's here. Are they going to try to... Nope, they're not going to bait her. Okay. Yeah, she's already backing up. She's not sure where the rest of the team is either. Well, Lena's gone. Is this the time to do something? Uh, she just TP back, but they didn't see her, I don't think. Uh, Asif wants to finish his butterfly before they fight. Just butterfly. fine, I guess. So he's got... He's got the end fly. He hurts pretty bad, but... I mean, yeah, but at this point, uh, Envy's just playing for this ultimate late game. They do so still I mean, technically have opinion, the they... late, right? They still have late game. Yeah, and... Yeah, I mean, their heroes just scale better, like, generally speaking. Like, yeah, Death Prophet 5 is, like, still super strong in scale as well, but, like, overall, um, Grimstroke obviously, like, isn't an insane late game support. Yeah. And, uh, so is Tusk, especially once he has Axe. I mean, that, that's just a dead lane of Rax, I yep. couldn't even fight. Yeah, lane's gone. Calling Missile on Mr. Rita. <laughs> Mario runs through three people, survives. They've got Blink on Ty, by the way. I don't think he had that before. A leak. So they, now they have some no, initiation. Ink spell on uh, a initiation. YSG is just walking in randomly, looking to blade in the face with the Ravage. Snow pops the BKB, pops the ult. Hits on the two heroes, but not really doing very much damage. Snowball 4 hits on no one. Cold Embrace on to their Phantom gets taunt, gets Winner's Curse. BKB is done with, and now Phantom is stuck, Soulbind on to Lina, but nobody else is there to attach A on this because popped. This is why you want to is going to gonna go destroy. down, maybe. Orpheus' first life goes down. Phantom's still alive, but just barely gets blowing axes. Can they finish off Tide? They do finish off Tide. Bad Max has gone down. GSP has gone down. Ooh. T Tusk has the sigil. Has Tusk the has a shard. Pretty cool. So the reason why GSP just walked in there is that he goes getting hit from like a thousand range by flat cannons. Or 1250 radius by flat cannons. So he just walked in to initiate. Insane chaos. Ooh, pop the cheese. Oh, no, no, it's just left in the dust. Okay, Phantom's back in again. There's the ult. Down goes Snow. Cold Embrace saves off Orpheus. And Phantom's gonna get Holy Missile and maybe die. But please don't. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, lane's just going too poorly for Envy here. Um, 21k in the lane. Like, well, they're gonna get Meg good here. Uh, it would have been very hard to come back. No. Like, Insane Chaos doesn't have BKB, doesn't have cheese anymore this might be the time to kill him so ball forward onto insane chaos but of he's course trapped. he's too slow oh it catches on there but there's the yules phantoms here again with ill ink swell lands but then there's the stun onto both bkb pop by phantom he actually kicks him out insane chaos does go yeah. down with the tag team shove oh spider legs up to the top high ground and tv's out of there very nice net four net. is here phantom's net. here but phantom phantom zero skill phantom, no phantom pops the ult is it going to be enough? Uh, Life's turning uh, back up to full, yeah. and down goes Gyro. No Satanic just yet. Walrus punch on the Tide, and Tide goes down. Was there a buyback by someone? Or Death Prophet so just alive? He, he needs life. Four heroes. Yeah, he needs a uh, life steal on the troll. Desperately. That's what the ult's like for. You don't ult. need any more life steal? Outside, outside of ult. <laughs> The, the fights last so long and they can't kill anyone before like within the ult duration because of this wyvern so he needs to have sustain in the fight to be able to take it more than six seconds or however long that ult is it does seem like they're like uh, they obviously do a lot better when when the big team fight ults are down like they got wrecked with everything up and then when they're all gone then ibad can't can't really deal they have yeah, it's just that ibad straight up has more team fight than them right so Yep, yep, yep. And then the natural, like, quote unquote, like, troll ult counter with the uh, Wyvern Curse. <laughs> Again, I personally would have preferred to, like, see a Slark carry here. I think it's just, like, a better Slark game. Oh no! Exorcism has been popped. There's Snow, gets silenced. Exorcism doing a lot of damage, taking down the Vrax just, like, on the side. 
There goes the range racks. Totally worth it to lose your lives to take down one of the racks. Only one more to go. Shove gets bashed. There we go. Bash is so worth it. More TPs in. Everyone is back home. Axe is a BKB X. now. Whoa. Does he have any health talents? No, I guess he has a 300 health he already took. Yeah, like, he's going for the blade mill now, which kind of sucks at this point in the game. I guess it still works. But, like, once the people get lifesteal and magic community, it hurts a lot more just to, like, blade mail and not do anything at the start of the team fight with your initiation. It goes through BKB, though, doesn't it? The blade no, mail. not anymore. They changed that. What? Um, uh. Yeah. Well, then Sad. Never mind. It's magical. But then that won't help. Against Lena. Oh, they smoke. No. Three hero smoke. Or wait, two hero smoke. Okay, that was random. Uh, Lena! No, they want Lena so bad! Yeah, Phantom oh. with the slow. She might still Axe live. Blink in! She is so bad. tanky, oh my goodness. Aeon Disc, Walrus Punch. She pushes herself away and she PKBs. Okay. She's, she's Aeon Disc. The... She's, she's fine. She's she's, how is she so tanky? Oh, 2800 HP. Not bad. They need to save one of their BKB pre-singing spells. Uh, they just pop both BKBs to leave, though. Yeah. Wow. They were scared of follow-up. Okay, get out of there. There's another counter smoke. This time, four heroes. Yep. Oh, GSP is so dead. GSP, what are you doing, man? Blink. Blink. Oh! oh Blink's out of there, but there's a homing missile on you. Can you get out of there in time? He just led them straight to the straight to the cookie jar. They're going for that Rax now. Oh god, they're going to follow you. They're not going to follow. Okay. They don't have, oh, they but Biggie is going to get caught out. Biggie gets three, slowed. Oh, no. Shrike yeah. ran down goes Biggie. What the, how, how did Biggie die there? What the heck? <laughs> just, he was uh, walking back to base. Called being out of position. A little bit too slowly. Just Biggie things. Oh, of course. Yep. Well, he does not have buyback, so that's 60 seconds without their gun stroke. They can do it. One more racks to defend. I'm just playing real scared here. He just needs to walk at this wave. And if he dies at that wave, that's fine. Like... He delayed the push longer. We got buyback by um, Shadow Fiend still. No buyback yeah. on Troll. Phantom has, has bought. He bought his item. This Exorcism is the fight. hasn't popped. Ravage is still up. Winter's Curse is still up. Everything's still up. Freer's already snowball blinked, so oh he God. is getting gone on. There's a stun and they've gushed. And GSP. one more hit and down he goes. He was on Axe, BKB has been dropped, GSP is taking so much damage, oh my goodness, he does take out Mad Max, but down goes GSP, without buyback. Ugh, Satanic has been popped by Gyro, kill. and Snow Gyro goes down as well. Gyro dead? Yeah, goes they're down. all dead there. Buyback by Snow, but what is it gonna do? Mega no, no damage, because he's, he's got the Necromaster he halved. Oof. Do you get plus four souls at some point? How do you get 12 souls? What? Uh, no, I died. Do you, you lose forty percent? Maybe I don't know what's happening here. Whatever. Um, I don't remember. You lose uh, forty percent of souls. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, forty percent. Okay. Big U is dead, of course. And Snow wants to take some of that as he dies, but it is not going to happen. You can it's see his build is doing a crap ton of damage against their team, right? Like they don't have a lot of armor, but it doesn't matter at this point. It's just it's too late. Oh, they're just like, gonna let him die to the Megas? <laughs> just gonna, uh, so weird. They ain't risking it. Oh, that's smart. Snow can't really do Good that. Cut. Lots of damage, though. Yeah, they, they know that they're gonna Megas, fight. But, like, they can't fight. That's an issue. They still have Ravage on Tide. It wasn't used for that. Courier his... almost dies to the creeps. So close. Troll has a Satanic. He doesn't need to buy it. Oh, those There's creeps. a spell prism on Death Prophet. Poor Axe. Trickster Cloak. See, this is when Axe wishes that he were up against a physical damage lineup so he could build into the uh, Vanguard instead. Honestly, maybe he should have planned for the Mega Creeps and bought a Vanguard earlier. It's hard to say. <laughs> Gotta read that far in the future. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, and, and especially if he built the Vanguard earlier, he would have been up against Mega Creeps earlier. So it makes Very sense. Very true. That... Very true. That he could have done that and just played for that game. I refresh your shard on Tide. They just smoked up and ready to go in. Yeah, this is double rabbit. The time refresher this late in the game just means that the the BKBs have to be used perfectly, and 
you almost can't whenever you're behind. Okay, Envy. This is it. Biggie is going to be the first to die. just wants 40 gold. Sell your bottle, man. <laughs> get your demon edged. There you oh, go. he did. He sold it. Uh, and the courier is making the... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, but it's got the shield. Again. It's got the shield. Oh, my God. Does have a lot of damage now, Here though. There you go. So. go. Go buy a raindrop. Go buy a raindrop snowstorm. There you go. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he keeps doing what I kill him to do. This guy's a... There we I go. I idiot or a genius for that. Life Strike already lands on the Phantom. Phantom taking a little bit of damage. No buyback on Phantom. Magic he bought Satanic. Winner's Curse oh, on a GSP and GSP taking so much damage. And he goes down. Ravage onto one. And second Ravage. Perfect Here it goes. Ravages. It's on the two. Oh, down goes no. Snow. And down goes Mr. Burrito and Biggie. You are all alone. Where's Phantom? Phantom is way back over here. Pops BKB, X to the mess and popped, and he's gonna take out Death Pop. It's very nice. Phantom going forward on Insane Chaos, gets the bash. Pop Satanic. Oh, it doesn't matter. Has no ult though. What is he gonna do? He's got no buyback, and there's the Mega Creeps. GG's? They got GG's. All right, good. Congrats yeah, to I back. Uh, this game was ultimately just. Uh... What happens when you lose all three lanes? <laughs> so. Anyway, it was it was kind of it didn't really go well for them. That's very very true. I think they was they kind of got they were like one for ten kill one versus ten kills for a while. I wanted to see Mr. Burrito like one thing he does for Proto Wrath a lot is he will he will ditch me in the off lane like just leave me to like one v two, and then I go and you know, play offline, do offline shenanigans. And then he just goes and like murders mid and safe land. I'm surprised he didn't do it this game. I feel like GSP wouldn't have minded. He wouldn't have gotten any gold, but you know, someone on the map has to be sacrificed to might kill not the just be the uh, Might just not be comfortable, I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah, I agree. he should have been playing around mid a lot more. And uh, then I think also... If they just prioritize this axe blank, like axe just kept landing and kept landing and kept landing in it. At some point they took the tower, but maybe he needs to go and let Tusk just be the three and go jungle or something for a bit and then come back so that he has his items that he needs. I don't know. It just I, felt kind of bad that there was no recovery. Actually, what he could have done was just go cut the wave, right? That's true. Just You're right. Keep, like, keep pulling the wave into the jungle camp that way he's actually yeah. farming. And if he's pulling, if he's pulling people away from the lanes, and that's, that's totally worth even if he dies. And if he's ultimately, pulling the wave, ultimately like they're getting. Yeah. And if he's doing that, then it's a two v one against the enemy support as well, right? Like then it's tusk and axe against the wyvern, and then the the gyro can't leave lane to go handle a jungle camp. So yeah, he doesn't want to. He's, he's busy CSing under his tower, so it's true. Axe could have just gone and cut that wave, yeah. He might have even wanted to start with that. I don't know. He, he had a battle hunger at one, but at level two, he would have been able to. Well, hopefully they'll kind of learn from the, what happened in his first game. Didn't seem to go so hot for Pot of Envy, but we've got a game two coming up very soon, whenever they feel like making the lobby. But congrats to iBad for winning the first game. They played a great game. They, uh, they I didn't sure see did. too many issues. They they took all the advantages they were given and used them. They show why they're number one at the moment. In the contender league. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that, that is implied. <laughs> okay. The lobby is back up. Okay, so they actually they also at one point beat a uh, ancient here was an intermediate league team. Um, there was some trash talk going on between the leagues, and so. My bad went and it was a, uh, the Grin Ethereal team. Yeah, and they just like dumped them supposedly. Nice. So this is this is a intermediate level team. Um, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, wasn't Grin Ethereal? They were the team like two seasons ago. They were in Contender League and like they were number one back then, and then I guess they moved yeah. up to intermediate. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently they're not at the top of intermediate then. Or I bet just really really good. We'll be right back. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, the, the thing's up, by the way. Oh, the thing is up. It is the same uh, password as before. Browse. With your really fancy name. PGA. Let's see here. Ah, oh, I found it. Yes. Um, 
not gonna say the password out loud as I type it in. Easy game. <laughs> we will just have but... some random people joining. Oh, okay. But it's on the there five minute delay, so it's not like people would know until it's too late. Theoretically. Oh, that's a really fun channel name you got there. Uh, yeah, um, Twitch.tv slash alleviate. Yeah, I've heard it's a very, very good <laughs> channel to go follow for PG content. Well, what's, uh, the, what's the flag? What's the, what language was that one for? Nicaragua, I believe. Whoa. Do you speak whatever that is? Spanish. I speak Spanish. Oh, okay. Some. It's just Spanish. I don't know if they... I always get confused if it's sometimes Spanish or Portuguese or like various things. Portuguese is only... As far as I know, you know, I'm not I'm not from all the different countries involved in South America individually, but like as far as I know, the only country that speaks Portuguese is Brazil. Um, and then each of those countries actually has its own, you know, local language, right? So like Peru, sure. they have Quechua and Spanish. Um, I'm sure there are other variations in other regions of different countries out there. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of like diversity amongst the all of that. But in general, the only one that speaks Portuguese is is Brazil. This is America right. flag. You're not allowed to be oh. proud of your country. This is terrible. Coordinator being updated oh, no. on the. Do we all have to leave? Or is Possibly. it gonna do it invisibly? Sometimes it does that, but usually I not. I can't even update the flag anymore. Oh God. We can't update the flag anymore. Is uh, I need to see out. how my boys on words and bass did. Game Let's see, one. I can make it Nicaragua. Against oh, team it doesn't work. Chat. You're right. It doesn't work. That's weird. Oh no. Team Chad won game one. I should really put a thing that says who won the game, but I don't have that. Oh. Well, I'm glad it's a Thursday. I don't have work tomorrow, which is great. So, I can do whatever I want tonight. Very nice. <laughs> Cast out a baby, getting crunk. Yeah. In the hood. <laughs> it's not gonna be nearly as fun though as the, as that the playoffs last season, with like the one that went until like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. That was a fun series. Are you doing computer engineering then as a as a, like a but you have Fridays off so are you doing like the, the 980s and stuff like that or Oh no um, I, don't, I don't go to school anymore Okay so, so was, okay. You know it's just we get Friday off just because I think we get the last Friday of every month off just for just because Oh nice Yeah That's not bad This happens to be the last Friday I like it when, I it, just, when it lines up with this because then I don't like it when I have to work in the morning it makes it harder to, to cast Cause yeah, like you you're wake up. yeah I, I, as an engineer i just kind of like work whenever i want to <laughs> well, <that's laughs> because nice. they, they just let you program or code or whatever whenever you want i was like all right well, i can do that you know they show up to your meetings and do what you need yep yep just gotta make sure you're there when you're supposed to be otherwise my it's boss, like, whatever my boss drives to like mexico like six times a year to go fishing. Whoa, that's nice. Um, but we definitely have people have like moved back home or moved to random places during during all this. During Just COVID, yeah, no kidding. I want to go to the beach. I miss the beach. I mean, you have you have beaches in Austin. Oh yeah, all Very the beaches. Small. You can see the other side. That just makes it even better. Whoa, it just gave, now we have two channels. What? Huh? Oh, the coordinator finally got updated. Now we're, now we're back to whatever. It's all set up. Uh, okay, so what week are we in anyway? Are we, is this like the last week or is the, next week the last the, week? Yeah, this, this is the last week of groups. Okay, so six. But obviously, Envy is going to be in it no matter what, and Ivad's obviously going to be in it. So, this doesn't really mean too much as far as getting in, but it does mean a lot yeah, as far it's as seating. Yeah, more, uh, it's more seating than anything else. Uh, only the top 16 teams make it, of course, and I think there's like 20-ish 
some teams and uh we got four heroes tied with seven wins under. including nb so four heroes trying There's to get 19. so 19 teams in contender top 16 make it uh so right now there'll be a tiebreaker uh if any of the four win teams like get the same uh same record there will there will be tiebreakers for them uh, so that'll probably be done via strength of schedule or whatever uh but it looks like unless sabers or bakers like they have to 2-0 basically in order to make it in it seems client is out of date oh no ah uh, so do we all need to leave Okay, yep. joy. They're gonna have updated like a bajillion things, right? No, uh, no, it's probably, probably gonna be a localization update or whatever stuff preparing for battle pass as well. Yay, battle pass! I always get. The I battle can't pass. spend money on battle pass because I'm saving up for a new computer. Oh, oh. Uh, priorities. Fuck. Damn. There it goes. My there he goes my entire point. Uh, that means you can't go pro, right? If you don't have a battle pass. <laughs> True. Are you building like I a? I mean, Brits really... got a hit immortal for me, so. Are you building a super awesome computer? Like any particular uh, size I'm going or type or anything? Just because parts are way too expensive right now. You can actually buy so for for like GPUs. You can buy like fully built computers cheaper and then pull the GPU out and put it into a different computer than it is to like buy a GPU right now. Like the, the, the mining market yeah. is just insane because you can you can make back your money even at like a $2,000 GPU. You can make back your money in like nine months or, you know, a year. But it, it, that relies on A, the market being good enough and B, like everything else working properly. Um, and, and, and you know you, your GPU dies after three years or whatever, right? Because you're mining with it constantly. So yeah. people see that as a value proposition and buy them in bulk, and then you know you can make a lot of money quickly like that, or over the a year like that. But it's it's what it means is casual gamers like us. I mean, I'm, I'm calling you casual. I'm sorry. Pro gamers like us don't get to buy those. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm just getting like this free build off of Amazon. It's like it has an RTX 3060 in it, so it's not shabby. Thought I'll get the job done. It's got it has a um. I need the specs for it. Yeah. Did you get a uh, Did you get an AMD or or Intel? It's AMD. Yay! Everyone I know is moving to AMD, including me. Yeah, so the one I was looking at on Amazon was a Skytech Archangel computer as the Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 3.6 gigahertz base, RT uh, the RTX 3060. Um, There's no difference between 3060 and anything higher, so that's a totally reasonable thing. Yeah, yeah 3060, 12 gig terabyte SSD, 16 gig. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's on a B450 motherboard, but that's fine. I think you can always upgrade that later. Uh, 600 watt PSU, so on and so forth. It's $1,800. That's not tax. bad. That's yeah, not bad. That's about what you expect, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, given the current like market, like that's actually really good. Is yeah. it a, how big is it? Is it micro or? or uh, it's, it says. Yeah, you can fit a 3060 into a mid-size barely. <laughs> it's close. Actually, is the mid-size? It might be uh, bigger than the mid-size. Might just be a full tower. It's, it, those things right. are monster GPUs. Like, it might yeah. be like the mid-range of their GPUs, but like it's a monster huge thing. Uh, I'm going in, uh, like, so I was transferring, I was, like, going into computer science and game design, so, like, I actually need, like, a GPU that can mm -hmm. actually render shit. Rendering shit's important. Yeah. Computer science as well, you know, if you want to do any sort of that, like, machine learning crap, you, you gotta have a lot of cores available. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I've talked to my dad a lot about that stuff. Are you just starting and, college? Uh, um, no, I was uh, transferring like halfway okay. through. So. Um, yeah, I mean, my dad used to do a lot of stuff around uh, machine learning right now, less so right now. Uh, but yeah, his previous job was all about it. Machine learning some dope stuff. I don't even see it. 7.29. See, the the, the the chat is talking about it, but I don't see it. Do you see it in 7 the 7.29. See, I see. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here, water rune. The restore is reduced from 180 to 8080. Solar crest buff the attacks be bonus reduced. Ring of Bazzi got nerfed. Listen, Y got nerfed. I think all the <laughs> Sanj. Sanj got nerfed. And they finally yeah. nerfed wild, wild axes. After all the pros just wreck with it. The hilarious infinite. Finally. They so actually the bonus finally damage. did it. The bonus forever. damage was nice because you could get you could one shot the range creep. Now if you can't do that, it makes it way weaker. Ooh. Yeah, that's Wait. a big nerf to brood. Wait, what? You can't one shot the range creep? Wait, with what? With wild axes. Uh, with wild axes plus scepter you could one shot the range creep, but you can't anymore. Oh no, that's a good point. Okay, that's really annoying. Oh no, they took away another max movement speed. Why did they never? Why did they take away every single unlocking max movement speed? I'm so mad. That was like a lot of the fun of the game. Why didn't Valve think about the fact that they were going to be ruining ruining 82L <laughs> this patch at this time? Did I think it happened like? I got kicked. Like, what the? A couple weeks ago, right? I got kicked. No. <laughs> Wait, they kicked you? They kicked me for the lobby. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. That's hilarious. My finger slipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So Timbersaw's flamethrower got nerfed, which is the biggest deal this patch. Um, the biggest cooldown. That's the biggest deal. Uh, Puck Dream Curl cooldown was uh, was increased at high levels, and the break damage nice. was dropped by a hundred at each level. Which is actually a lot, holy cow. Yeah, 100. Yeah, cause she's pretty, huh. pretty sick. I mean, you know, Puck, Puck was doing too much, right? Like, the heroes are not supposed to be the best at multiple things, and Puck was, like, really good at crowd control and good at being an ev evasive and good at doing damage, so, like, reducing the damage a little bit um, makes, makes some sense. The crowd control plus damage aspect was just too strong. Too yeah, so Nexus Assassin also lost the move speed limit break on his free pathing ability in Vendetta on Shard, so that makes sense. Is there anything with, with the the max move speed unlock anymore? Is, is everything officially gone? Um, so, PL Phantom Rush, Lycan Ult puts him at haste. Um, yeah, everything okay. seems to be haste now, Captain Haste, but I guess... Yeah, so PL Phantom Rush puts him above max movement speed. Spirit Breaker Charge. I thought the Captain Rush. No. That, 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 can't, that can't be capped. If they capped Spirit, uh, Spirit Breaker's Charge to be a haste oh. movement speed, that era would be garbage. It would be so pointless. Oh, yeah, I guess um, they changed it so now he can't go faster now. You know, he can't unlock it with the bulldoze. That was the OP one. Five seconds surge charge. Uh, what else? Sur they changed Surge a while ago. Yep, yep, yep. They also buffed Monkey King. Um, that was cool. Specifically, his, ma his Boundless Strike got the, the stun duration got increased to low levels. Um, and then he got yeah. like bonus vision on tree dance. Yeah, he's just a better. He's just a better mid now. Uh, he's, I what do you build on the mid? Okay. Uh, I mean, you just go the you just go the fighting build where you basically max your Q and your and your uh, boundless and Jingu. Oh, Jingu. Okay. Yeah, you max boundless and Jingu, and you go like go run around and fight. Um. Just because Axe on Monkey, like it's still core on Monkey King and it's like really good, but it's 
not as good as it once was. Like, and overall, Monkey King just struggles against the current carry heroes. So. Oh, the game, the game, the game starting. Time for the intro again. Oops. Hey everyone, welcome to game number two of the best of two between Pot of Envy and I bought Artifact for the Dota Plus, aka iBad, iBad One, game number one. But here we go. At, got game number two. Nothing too much is on the line here except props and seating. But iBad's gonna be number one no matter what. So that's that's kind of set in stone. But Envy is fighting for the number two slot against three other teams. That's what's up for today. So I bet just picked up two mids here. Um, very suspicious. But they, they'll they probably play them both as four as well. So we'll see. So ambiguous. I wouldn't. Okay, yeah. that's that's a good pickup. That's a good pickup. Yeah. Does, uh, it does super well against. Uh, is that. And uh, Lean is good against it in lane, but overall in the game, Life Stealer is a really good time. Um. I, I, like this is kind of a meme, but I want to see Tiny carry. They ran it in China DPC once. I don't remember which team it was, but it like went off. And I've tr I've tried it in a couple of unranked pubs. Of course, they're unranked pubs. <laughs> um, so take that as you will. Uh, and I went off on him as well. So, so do you just build like a crap ton of damage and then punch a life stealer to death with the tree? So you, you go echo so you, uh, the build is basically echo saber s and y and then you can choose between going like hard Crit. or satanic okay no you go hard or satanic and then you go ac and then you go like in crit and you make sure you pick up the shard in uh yeah, you need the shard. like in there at the tw at, like as soon as it's 20 minutes you get the shard it's the so shard good. is now a tree yeah permanent tree basically you have to pick up a new tree if you die but do you go treads on that hero then? Like, so you get attack speed, or is uh, it still the phase? I went, to grab I went treads on the hero. Yeah, because it just feels so good to like. It's a percent yeah. increase on your damage, so it, it just feels very strong. Is yeah, there a reason why nobody like they haven't brought back the old tiny? Because it was like such a thing for a while when you could get the scepter from a tree, but it seems like he's this, he can do the same thing now, just just cheaper and like. Uh, it's it's just a tiny like at the moment just fares better Ten as a mid like he he's really strong around this blank where you can just like blow up people Five really fast remaining. yeah um so you get yeah. a blank fast and then you blow up people constantly until which, you're which is actually game. why um which is actually why they picked it up against Daddy willow man. because uh if i'm right though i might be completely wrong about this can you toss willow um, whenever she's yeah you, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can toss Willow if you're in. Uh, no, you can't. You can't. No, you can't do Shadow that. Realm. It's un. It's untargetable. Shadow or, Realm. I don't think so. Uh, I'm a. Ch I'm a test this. <laughs> well, you can obviously avalanche, which is. Don't worry, awesome. I will test this. Perfect, perfect. Tiny. So Dark Willow is burritos. Like, I cannot you know, demo hero. Gold tier. Wait, I have to disconnect, right? Oh yeah, you probably have to disconnect. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I have to disconnect. Okay. I'm sure it's. I'm sure that someone's done it online. It's not a... So Dark Dark Willow is Burrito's like gold tier four position hero, and then they banned out his Spirit Breaker. So I don't know if they know where this Willow is going. Uh, they might think it's a five, but I don't think we're gonna see a biggie five Willow. Um, Will she do okay in the in the off lane up against remaining. either Tiny or Lena, whoever is there, assuming that one of them is? I no, I don't think either of them are gonna be there. If she is over there, um, I. Th don't think she can kill a tiny, but so she can definitely stop a tiny. I don't know if she can stop a tiny. I think that Willow mostly handles the mid and the support um, okay. and gets all the pulls off. And then at some point later on can kill off most people without like any, any non-strength core because of her um, massive damage from ult at level six. Um, you just pick up some boots and then you oh, just yeah, like yeah, sit yeah. on them. Can't tar you can't target her. Such. I was indeed wrong. Oh no, we got so three mid heroes. Flex heroes. They three, have three, three flex heroes. heroes. They're falling into the oh, Okay, so they're they're actually doing this four mid hero bullshit. They're being so, so yeah. Uh, this, this was a problem that we had in Pot of Wrath at one point where we picked up I think 
three mid heroes, and then we picked up a Vengeful Spirit. And of course, our mid player wanted to play Vengeful Okay, this is a GSP Centaur. Yeah. So, so our mid player played Vengeful Spirit, and it took us 50 minutes to win the game, because he fed the whole game. Um, at some point, he started feeding with Ags, so it became okay for some reason, but like, it, yeah. it was it was painful. Uh, as we get Centaur pickup, uh, you run yeah, away from the DP. Basically, negates it. Yeah, it negates the entire point of like, it negates exorcism on DP as a, like a team fight spell entirely. You basically just stampede, run away, wait for it to basically reach half. So the way that you do that then, yeah. on DP is you just kind of ult the tower instead because they can't run away, right? Yep. <laughs> or they just yeah, run the tower in and kill you really fast because yeah, Life Stealer is super good at against Death Prophet. That makes sense. Yeah, you, you can't unless you like silence the Life Stealer somehow. He just beats you to death. Is that going to be the next uh, evolution of Dota? Are they going to have? I mean, you Life Stealer move towers? moving towers. That'd be pretty no. pretty crazy. Next no, level. No, no, no. I, I, so the times. problem is, uh, like Life Stealer, like he actually heals an insane amount right now. Okay, they actually pick oh, up the counter to light stealer. This is gonna be messed up. So that, that, that's a good hero, but so I now think, I know who's uh, safe man, at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, Max really likes playing off lane Ursa. Oh, we don't know who's safe lane at least. <laughs> they have four flex picks. Well, we know who's mid. What's one of the three that are mid? Uh, one of well, them. That's the mid hero. That and we're saving Biggie's pick for last. This is yeah. the new meta. Well, uh, so like this is actually a really good win pick because it's good against both, uh, all three mid heroes that Ibat has picked up. They do have a lot of first well. magical though, a lot. Yeah, but you just you basically just go javelin to B get B, or you get a really early maelstrom. But overall, like you should have a good lane. Uh, Lena can't uh, Lena can't threaten you as hard just because like you should always be able to dodge LSA for the most part. You shouldn't even be in position for an LSA, honestly. Like, yeah, unless that's it. rotation. I'm thinking here, like, I've seen Burrito play against the Sursa before, and you just pick up a Yules, right? Like, they don't have any other Yules heroes, but maybe if they pick up a 5 who has a Yules or something like that, they can just Yules the Ursa over and over and not worry about him. Yeah. The 4v5, because without Ursa ult, he's not anything until later on in the game. I would like to see Envy like actually pick up like a save. Eh, no, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't be that good. Uh, I was seeing Phoenix Five, but they have Ursulina. Yeah, the Lena just turrets it to death, right? Yeah. Um, they could go Warlock or if they goal. so desired. They'd be really cool down based. They're already kind of. I don't know. I guess not so much. The Centaur ult's pretty short cooldown. Or but... cool or or dazzle. I haven't seen Dazzle in a while. I think it'd be a really good Warlock King, to be honest. Hmm. Why is that? Is it just because it, it um, chaos and lets you queue well, everyone together, or? Well, that and also your, um, I think it's, is it your E? Uh, it's a huge AoE yeah, slow. Nope. Like, oh, there is literally nothing that Ibed can do to actually, like, stop that. The silence from Death Prophet then use the Death Prophet silence on a warlock, which like feels kind of shitty. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. But like the, ca the cast too. the cast range on the spell is Five like huge. Right? So yeah. You're actually like in cast. You can stand anywhere and use it. Yeah. Um, super. It's super value, and people underrate actually how good it is, since it My... hits the max movement speed slow like really fast. My five position likes to max it in lane over other spells, <laughs> which kind of hurts. But yeah, it, it's just nonsense at like level two even. Yeah. Uh, also, the shard on Warlock is very good too. So good. So much sustain. It's strong to have these like, like a Warlock or something like that against the Death Prophet just because they kind of want to fight around a certain area. It's like an area denial and then Warlock just holds you in it. So your Death Prophet can't run away from from this life still at all. Uh, other option they could go uh, would be a more tanky support like Ogre. Does he play Treant? They do love Ogre. Uh, he is not a good win rate on Treant. 
Okay, that's fine as well. You're really susceptible to being just straight up killed Murdered. by tiny. Yeah. Fine. And they just think disruptor. Okay. Disruptor two. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a four position disruptor actually. Okay, so they'll make that they'll make that offlane uh offlane death profit carry uh or B carry yes. Ursa. And the, their mids couldn't choose, okay. The mid chose Alina again. So it's a five position tiny, are they gonna switch the five and four role this game and play the tiny? Uh they're four? definitely putting the tiny as four. Yeah, okay. I guess Finley just plays the plays the disruptor for them. Mm, I think Envy's really like uh, if some of their heroes are really susceptible to being bursted. If they can control the Ursa, then Life Stealer should have a pretty free game. Um, Life Stealer has a thing, lot of ways to yeah. get away from this Ursa, just yeah. with like jumping into so many different maneuverable heroes. So the biggest thing this game is that Willow needs to make sure that Lena doesn't have a good lane. The Lena, like, yeah, yeah, so go yeah, and like that is absolutely necessary. Okay, well, we're just gonna have game? to rotate now. Gonna have to. The game combo isn't as good this game, is it? Like snowstorm. It's it's, it's definitely not as good, but basically, it, if he provides the threat of him just being there, then it's totally worth. Yes, just like if if yeah, it, it's playing between the two like, lanes. It, yeah, if careful. you can if you can make the Lena like have the fact that willow is like rotating in the back of her mind then she can't play into the tower yeah then it's completely worth so because, is, is, because, is, is it okay yeah, for centaur though like if 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 she leaves centaur alone isn't that kind of bad centaur centaur doesn't care. Fine. yeah he'll be fine oh but it's an ursa you know, and a, yeah. a disruptor you just stand back you know it's not like you're going to lead laning against an ursa like perfect anger he'll have plenty of reach and like he'll be fine this game Okay. He's a very aggressive player in the off lane, but if you can tone Definitely it back is. a little bit and just like pull the creeps to himself and farm a little, he, he will have a much better time against an Ursa. You can't just like run at an Ursa past level two. Ursa Ursa level one, level two doesn't really do any damage still, because his his fury swipes don't stack that well yet. But then like level three, two points into the fury swipes, it starts hurting really bad. I want to see the Life Stealer get Orb of Corrosion really early on and then just go like Armlet into Halberd. Can you Orb of Corrosion against the Death Prophet? Like, she's starting phase yeah. boots, essentially. You got the okay. 5 Hero Smith. Yeah, Ibad's walking up to here. There's the Centaur stun. Oh. There's the dual breath. Can they kill the Lena? Are they going to be able to get her? Yeah. There's the toss. Yeah, and dead. down goes yep. the Lena. Perfect. Everyone's still there. Burrito. Everyone's God. getting rooted. Very nice Dark Willow with all of the little. But and she's they'll be able to kill Earth as well. And then Finley is just in the middle of here. Huge. GSP has a second stomp. A, Down goes the Finley. Very, they're getting kill four basically right off the bat. This One is toss by Shaw. Really good. GSP almost goes down. Wow. They're already like halfway to level two in all of their heroes. That's amazing. Wow. Very unfortunate. <laughs> well, we lost three of the runes, but Max, totally my team is a bunch of feeders. The only person <laughs> to make it out alive. There we go, X2 permanent. Already at two, already really high. For the, for Envy. That's great. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, this life still is already calling out his courier with uh, Orb of Venom on it. So he's going for the Orb of Corrosion, like you were saying. Makes sense, um, makes sense. Well, he oh might gosh, just courier! Kind of no, Shav knows. One more hit. Oh, it didn't die in one hit. Now drop, drop the orb and let it, just let it. Top oh. lane, Burrito's killing for oh. me. Okay. No, watch the courier. Okay, he saved the courier. Did not save the courier. Oh. Wait, uh, he got he... his orb on him, so it's fine. He was controlling it. Why did he? Okay, whatever. It's okay. They ran into Mad Max. Mad Max dove for it. Ah, uh, okay. So Burrito uh, the, the beat the hell out of Finley up there, and Finley does not have a salve, so he's stuck regen wow. for the next year. Um, so that means that they can just run at this Orpheus. So the Orpheus is running GSP, so they can they can just run at these guys because Finley can't come back. Got the death. Oh, oh, the oh, Finley's dead. Oh, Finley's dead. One more hit. And down oh, he didn't take the right angle. There oh, go. he got to take that right triangle. Wait, and, and now then... he's going to go into Max guy because he's alone. And Mad Max yeah. died too at bottom. Six kills already. 
I, I missed the one at bottom. What, what, what happened at yeah, bottom? Very good turf for him to be here. What happened at top? Uh, what happened bottom? Uh, basically, Jakira got dual breath off on the on oh. the death prophet, and they just ran her down because oh, uh, dual yeah, breath is a very cool ability. Oh gosh, Sean, be careful! There's a dual breath. They all got level two first. Like this is really strong. I'm glad they're playing around this timing of like just having more exp. Or if he is dropped a bit low, but has three tango, it's not a big deal. Finley's back with full HP now. Now, um, Burrito's got to be a bit more careful. He's got five tangos. Burrito doesn't care, man. This guy gives no um, <laughs> forks. Um, no forks. I don't this even, guy, oh, if he went to like a cafeteria, he would just take all of the forks and <laughs> keep them for himself. Vicky's getting a little bit low. Shav wants for the toss back, but it's just level one. Just harass him for now. Centaur with the... Oh no, that was Crypt Swarm. The pull through on the Centaur. I don't know where he's taking these creeps. Is he trying to meet them behind the tower? Yeah, meet the next he, wave. No, he's, he's not going to go Oh away. no, he got stuck in the tree. Stealer. Oh. His boots are on his backpack where they should be. Biggie's really slow. He has to focus on that range creep. Up. He still has the boots in the backpack. Five stealer, your boots. Oh, that sentry is just slightly off. Shove is also pulling this wave because he isn't. Oh, so close. That's a pretty deep obs ward. That's pretty smart. Is Mad Max dead? Oh, Finley's taking a lot of damage, and there's the root. Down goes Finley. Yeah, Max Mad Max be dead. two at bottom. Biggie pops the fairy fire. Shove has a toss. Oh, oh my lord. Biggie oh, killed the tiny Tries yeah, to, oh, but Shav's gonna go down. Okay, so what was go better there? Is is, okay, Shav's the, the five. I love it. <laughs> the, four? the four? He's the five player. He's playing four role, though, I think. Though he hasn't been rotating either. I feel like these, these mid laners are just being left alone in these games. And they honestly... Last game, I'm sure Snowstorm would have enjoyed to have help. But this game, the, the, you know, he's not going so bad. I think he prefers just having the support speed in the off lane and safe lane. Yeah, there's a much uh, different start this game than last yeah, game. Yeah, this is exactly the opposite. Instead of being nine and one, it's eight and zero. Or yeah, instead of the other way around. Biggie, Biggie, we got Avalanche toss combo, but the toss doesn't land on a Biggie, and Biggie really doesn't take like any damage because the toss missed. Biggie, oh, why are you turning around? Uh, like one more hit. He's alive. Uh oh! Ho, ho. How did? Oh, did she pop the salve? He's salved. Yeah, he popped the yeah, salve. Yeah. Salved. Oh, and there's the toss, and Vicky goes down. Oh my gosh. So you get for showing, man. Just always stay in the trees. KOX, yeah, the so No, the courier! Mad Max just dives in really far. Phantom, watch your courier. You saw it happen. You know they want to kill it. Just, just be careful. This should alert them to the ward behind the tower, which they unfortunately missed. Like, I think Harbinger said earlier, like, they missed it by, like, you know. It's a really good place. Yeah, it's I, like 100, 200 agree. units. It's very unfortunate. So how is uh, but yeah, just shows poor Wind scouting on the half. Better the coach. this time. You know, the coach has to scout I that weather. Not do scouting. <laughs> <laughs> Mid looks pretty even as far as I that state last hit goes. Is Finley dead? Finley's oh, dead. Tiny takes a lot of damage. Pops the raid on Phantom. Nice timing. A couple more hits and oh, one more hit. Dive. Don't dive him. <laughs> Good choice. I only have Falcon Blade on uh, Death Prophet. That's interesting. That was the old build. Um, I played some Death Prophet off lane, and that was like what was told to me to be used in the last patch. But they did that last it just time felt too. too slow. Whoa! Oh, worth. Snow killed it's Chaos, worth. but Shab was it's there. It's worth though. That was worth it. Lena didn't get the experience for that kill, so but it Shab did be did. worth. Or did, or yeah, Shab did, Shab was right there. Zillin, yeah. Not bad. The bigger thing is Alina didn't get experience for that kill and uh, Wynn did, so now Wynn's half a level ahead. Oh, she used Laguna Blade though. Oh, well, Max oh. is dead. Mad Max, Lice, once again. Very cool hero. These CS is... GSP is doing way better than Max is in his like respective lanes. Like, GSP has 34 CS to like 14. Yeah. Like, that's... Ooh. Lanes are going a lot better for uh They're doing quite well. You can see he's cutting now. He doesn't want to like face the Ursa head on, so he's making the Ursa tank creeps and then cutting himself because oh, he has a range. 
Good kill by Chaos in the mid lane on Biggie. That uh, lane's toss combo. Yeah, he's just out of position. I mean, Fetchum still in the creep. Okay, now he's back out. Fetchum does to... this on last the other. He likes to sit in creeps. <laughs> I wonder if he actually got last hits. I, I stopped watching when he got one last hit with the creep. Was Dude, the that. guy just wants to play a different game. He wants to be a different creep. Oh, he did creep. get rubber corrosion. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not finishing it. Good choice. Yeah, I'll just finish it first. Four phase dudes, but... This is fine as well. Oh, no. uh, oh, tiny, rip, tiny. These couriers, they need to watch for these things. Oh gosh, it popped. I think Shab's Shadow died. popped and Shab goes down. Orpheus jumps forward on the oh, burrito. But... Burrito's probably gonna die. Might get Willow. Yep, one more yeah, hit. Willow. Willow. They have Stampede Sorry. if they want to go for it. Shackle does not connect. They pop for that, but there's the invade. They need back. They need back Instant now. TP by Lina. They gotta get out of here. GSPs just uh, stop. <laughs> he's trying to cut trees. He's a, he's a wood, a lumber uh, wood. Lumberjack, make, makes sense. Uh, very Ray. Did they want to give it to Lena? Oh. Uh, I assume that they wanted to give it to Ursa. Uh, oh, Lena. Lena's out. building a Yules first this game, so the faster she gets that, the faster she can get accelerated. She is the she's the playmaker this game. Yeah, the, is she the only person she can? There's like three people she Solo can kill, kill with that combo. Yeah, yeah and it's uh, Willow, Jakiro, Wind. That's a Lysander oh, Wind no. should always be able to get Rage off. Yeah, um, it's less valuable than Centaur is. Yeah, and Centaur is Centaur. So <laughs> they have a lot of burst Although, damage once they get like a blink on Tiny or whatever. They're gonna go on Ursa. Oh, just the Brambles. Five seconds for enrage. Oh, it's gonna be up in time. Ice path does not connect. Biggie gets glimpsed back. They just need to go take this tower. Like they're all here. Just like winds coming. Cut the wave. Oh. The, uh... There's the TP in. Disruptor TP out. Ops. Snow pops the illusion rune. The centaur stops nothing. Behind you, Biggie. The ghost. 3v4. 4v4. They just need to be cutting this wave. Go, go cut the wave. Do GSP. It. Don't care about your team. Ignore your team. Do it! We'll get the wave. Aww. Tackle? Oh, there's power shot. Oh it's my on god, so much damage. Tackle shot does not land again! Ice path does land on a tiny. Everyone's here, though. Alright, GSP is still jungling. Go, go get the creeps. Yeah, somewhere. they're Please. like half health on uh, iBad here. Shaw is all alone! Really just going... Oh, gosh. Uh, they, they're, they're just gonna want to pressure the tower. Meanwhile, Ice Stealer is gonna take the bot tower here. This is really good from Phantom. He, the second they all leave, he just immediately makes them want to come back. Yay! Um, nice play, St. Phantom. Up Death there. Prophet's stuck. She can't TP anywhere. This is just a dead tower, Deep yeah. Way. Honestly, this is two dead towers. They are getting pressured pretty hard here. Shadow's what? looking for Burrito. Yeah. I mean, they will have, um... Yeah, we'll use Ford again. Yep. But yeah, uh, Envy doing a lot better job of pressuring with the lead that they were given. Uh, like, <laughs> Literally like, handed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Shab just walked by the haste rune and let Snow pick it up. Very, very nice of him. Phantom almost has his um, full arm lit up. He's still yeah, going off it. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good timing. For it. Uh, so I mean, you can generally speaking. So standard timing on armlet for life stealer is like 11 minute mark. Uh, okay. For like divine fish, it kind of gets lower. The lower like increase. You go. Yeah. You hear that phantom? Yeah, You're gonna be divine. Mainly just because like, well, it, it's just because like there's like a uh, farming pattern like efficiencies uh, going on necessarily, and you know how to be aggressive while still maintaining the uh, like. Really good CS. Equilibrium in CS, yeah. Yeah. Like, here I'd say, like, Phantom, like, is, like, at least, like, 15 CS behind where he should be. Just because from the kills he went for. Because he'd be farming through the big camp as well. That's the uh, danger of pressing yeah. that tower is that you don't CS during that time, really. Yep. But, um, you know, it, it also just means, like, if he's pressuring that tower and they're pressuring the top one at the same time, like, they're guaranteed to get at least they one. They the smoke, but toss back by Dark Willow, pop the Shadow Realm, and the Toss him Dark Willow sucks for Shackle that. does oh land, yeah, Light Shackle Rage. Reader goes down, Axe Season has been popped, PSP pops the Stampede. 
they got the just... focus fire on oh, yeah, there's dead pocket. Kill... Yeah. Down goes dead pocket. That's worth. Job is here. Has avalanche or toss, but not both. Yep. He's going four stuff on uh, tiny first. Interesting. Huh. I don't know if I like that. I guess he, it feels like he's not going to really be able to farm up a blink dagger fast enough. Yeah, a bit more defensive. I can guarantee you that um, uh, Burrito was cackling the entire time that he was tossed dead and killing that disruptor. <laughs> yeah, Just laughing at that. Interesting choice, though, getting the four steps since blink is literally 50 gold more. So It's not like he's dying, really, right? Like, he could definitely yeah. just go for it. The mana's yeah, nice, yeah. but... We got Yules on the Lina now. Let's see if she can I will answer. know it's not 50. Oh, yeah. Sorry, go for it. No, I'm just saying it. Let's see if she can. Oh, here we go. There's a nice house on the two, but there is the little bush thingies, and down goes Mad Max. Max, do be feeding. Stun onto Finley. Finley gets the little connect field off. Flash Strike Rage is not good. And because of the Rage, very nice. Finley drops the. Oh, and he pops. Oh, we get away to the face. Infest quickly by the Life Stealer. Shop taking a lot of damage. Does Burrito have it more? Yep. Dying, but One more hit, there's the toss. Burrito dying. goes down, but Shab goes down. Earth got the kill. That was a crazy fight, but it definitely came out in the favor of... Uh, One for three. I mean, Biggie was fighting the whole time, so it's just 100% okay. Fine going does online. Damn, that was only... Let's see. Yeah, Burrito didn't get the last hits. Or the, the, the XP, so that's okay. I don't know. I don't like this Ursa going Battle Fury because with how how fast the map is starting to shrink, he's not gonna have the space to like farm. What would you want him to go instead? Uh, just get a morbid mask and then go bash your S and Y. I feel like that would be a great help. Build. No blink dagger on it. I mean, yeah, you get a blink dagger in there as well. But okay. like again, like it, it's more important. Like you need to be able to fight early. Like yeah. Battle, like you haven't been fighting during this entire time, you've been farming Battle Fury, so like Life Stealer is just getting further ahead. Life Stealer right wins every fight where there isn't an Ursa, right? Like, yeah. Every time. Yeah. There, there's no fight where Life Stealer loses it, really. They're all showing like, themselves. The Everyone's right here then. except for Snow. Stampede has been oh, popped, but everyone is there. Lina. There's the Yules. Life Shark does land on a GSP. Stampede is Lina. down. Connect yeah, gets dropped. Lina. Exorcism is. Okay, Dark Willow goes down, it's in this pop, Insane Chaos does end up going down to the Macropyre end of it by Biggie. That was the Macropyre burn change where it like sticks to you afterwards. I love it. Like it's only like two seconds and it was the second the second tick. Yeah, Snow is here now, was... gets silenced. Focus fire Biggie on knew the that. Top. They gotta be so careful. Snow. Okay, good. Snowstorm is trying to outplay his 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 like gold right now a little bit, but it's working out because the other team's just so far behind. Got like that death proper exorcism did nothing. Like that, all it did was prevent them from dying more. Um, I yeah, do, I do like this, this, this fluffy hat though from Tiny. I think that the, you know, it's not a 50 gold increase. It's a 350 gold increase because the fluffy hat's so important for most builds. Um, that 125 health just changes the hero so much. Oh gosh, GSP has been caught out, but Biggie's here. Ice path connects on the two. Uh, Life Shark does land. There's the hood. Oh, but Phantom's here. Macropire's dropped again. A second wow, Macropire. He's very tanky, yeah, Centaur. He's so tanky. This is great siphon, though. Focus fire on to Mad Max. Down goes Oh no, why did you double edge? What in the world? Yeah, why did you do that? Down goes Mad Max. Shav already died. Shot around with the pop. The, uh, oh, yeah, and St. Kai's gets caught. The bramble. Kinetic yeah, field. See, this Very is this is what Brut is so good there. is that he he places the bramble knowing where they're gonna walk like yep. ten seconds later. Yeah, that's why he missed uh, bramble on the Ursa earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, he knew that that bramble like cooldown would come up again, so he could place it there. So good, so good. Also, he sat on top of Lena and just murdered her face with his uh bed limb, Oh but, no, you know. Finley, Finley. Finley, don't you know you're you're in trouble? There we go. There's the bedlam once again with the stun, this but Tiny's there to save the day. Aw, oh, didn't decide to drop the bramble maze. He's Not he's much. he's holding it for gets um, when he back. gets to the base. There's a silence. Yeah. Rito taking quite a bit of damage. Pops the shadow realm. Now it's time because you're gonna die. This is all just space for the tower. Like this tower is just getting punched. 
Nice job dodging it out. Oh, Lena is. Uh, why is she in there? Phantom pops the rage to get out though. The trees do not get destroyed now. Yep. Easy. That was such a lame Fire thing. Fire does not destroy trees, guys. Keep that in mind. Oh no. Morbius has been caught you, out. Uh, if you burn a forest there. down, just keep in mind that won't happen. It's the new uh, California initiative. <laughs> yep. Just yeah, plant no a bunch of fires. trees so the wildfires literally cannot do anything. If you make a path through the trees, which is easier to navigate for quote unquote heroes, then they can't burn. That is the oh, is that the, is that the that's, idea? That's how it works. That's why they changed it that way. Is like, you know, there's no reason to destroy the trees if you can just walk out of them. Oh, Light Striker lands on the two, and there's the Disruptor thing. Where's the Disruptor ult? Swims backward into kinetic okay, fields. Phantom is stuck. You really did not want to rage on Life Stealer, huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he could have just raged and been fine, but I think he has two good things on the screen. Seven times streak ended. He could have gone out of there. The kinetic field ended, but I think he was just stuck. I, he could have raged rage. the pullback. Yeah. It, oh, was on, it wasn't on cooldown, so free to do so, he just did not press his buttons. Um, he wants to give them a chance. Good kill by Ive uh, there, though. It's a good uh, pullback, I guess, by Finley. Hopefully they can transition this into a tower of some sort, so it looks like they might just go There's a blink on GSP coming out, though. This might be Ooh. dangerous for them. If they don't commit as all five, like, Here's they're, the they're gonna be killed. So. Yeah, it's not worth it to commit to Biggie. Like, <laughs> I mean, they don't want they'll to. They'll just, uh, yeah. They'll probably, they should smoke up with this blank dagger thorn some turn and push it. Oh, uh, hopefully Ibad can... I really I want Ibad to start, like, try and pressure towers. Like, this Earth... Okay, Earth is going BKB, that's fine. It means the, he could hit it, Lifestealer more, but yeah. does it make him stick to Lifestealer? Not sure. Like, no, the, the issue is that, like... You, you still have this problem where you're not joining your team until you have that BKB. So it's a 4,000 gold away from... Oh, he switched to Sanj. He switched to Sanj. Okay. Okay, uh, I like that better. He didn't read the patch notes. Um... <laughs> oh, Sanj didn't oh, get nerfed. S&Y and Sanj got nerfed. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's that, oh, it's that big smoke? brain. Why, why upgrade? If you just that go makes with sense. The pace item. I bet so it's in like a book. I bet just read him like a book. Uh, yeah, that's pretty expect expected because uh, if they didn't smoke, you'd see a hero pushing in the mid lane. The lanes were pushed out for them, so they did it right, kind of, but it's still like. Yeah, maybe... uh, mid lane was it just wasn't pushed out far enough. That was uh, yeah. one problem. Is it weird that no one's getting glimmer on the envy side? Like, I would have thought. Either you kill I or really or want Life Stealer to get a Halberd. It's so value against Lena and Ursa. Biggie's going the Yules for the Ursa as well. Um, that's why he's not going Glimmer. Is it just the Ursa counter? But they've got so yeah, much Yules like magic stupid. damage. I feel like Glimmer would be helpful to have just on one of them. Uh, Instead of two Yules. It's kind of whatever because wins uh, like uh, uh, getting really close to a BKB. Life Stealer has his own built-in BKB, and then Centaur is just Centaur. Uh, so like having that extra magic resistance from the Glimmer isn't really necessary because as a Jakiro, like you should be far enough back in the fights where you're not being hit by any of these uh, spells for the most part. Um, it's kind of whatever. Uh, interesting that he chose to max liquid fire though over ice path. And generally speaking, we uh, I've seen ice path being maxed uh, either first or second. Uh, I would just have thought that scales really well. Dual breath max was a bit weird to me because he wasn't fighting. He was pushing out waves with with dual breath, and I would have thought the liquid fire max and then to ice path would have been better. Uh, dual breath but... pushes out waves faster than liquid fire. Okay, I think they, just, had, they had a good number of fights. To go stand somewhere. I think it had a good yeah. enough impact on a number of fights. The dual breath. Well, five heroes smoke yeah. now. Oh well, yeah, dual breath is super value. Like, it's insanely strong spell. Invest in the GSP. They're doing this. Interesting that he did not max retaliate though. By the way, on the Centaur. Who are they gonna go on? Oh, there's a blink out. He just by Lena. a lock down. Lena has blink. Just run into the triangle. And you will find them. This works. There we this go. Works. Go forward onto, onto the Ursa. No Grims back speed. immediately. Ursa pops the enrage. We're taking just a lot of damage. Exorcism has been popped. And Orpheus goes down. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
They oh, just punched him to death. He didn't react. Snow is looking for Shav, but it's not finding him. They yeah, just kind of uh, peeked around each other. A little bit. Uh, it's kind of expected. Like, they didn't have vision where they smoked. Um, Roche time. Well, I, I'm like, I bet kind of like farming the same place, so I'm pressuring anyway. Whatever. They'll, they'll finally be able to get the bottom tier one, though, so that's worth it. Can they get Roshan time? I mean, I guess they're going fast enough. It should be okay. No. They, they, they saw the bottom. Yeah, they can't fight uh, them. Like, Ursus is dead. They still have some speed and terrorize. Yeah, There's an exo for 100 seconds. That's just a high ground, isn't it? Like. Uh, they'll probably take the last two outer towers first before committing. Greedo's here. Got the three stealer. heroes here. They're, They're set up. Out. This is Man a bad fight. Lina. for bad. Lena pops the mules. Phantom's here, though. Pops the rage. And Insane Chaos goes down like Shakiri does land onto that. Dark Willow. Stampede goes out. Can they get the stop? They do. Oh, and they down goes Mad Max. Well played by DSP. Mid lane. Oh. Ursa's going down. Focus fire on the Ursa once again with Shackle Shot. Popsy and Rage. Biggie's gonna go down Ursa's in response. Still there next to He's gonna focus fire. That worked. Uh, might... Family just, just made Snow stay in place and do nothing. Well, he'll just, he'll just kill the. Uh... Nope. And Tiny's well, there to back tiny up. Tiny there for the save. Well played. They just distracted Snow and. Save two yeah, heroes. so that's just lack of BKB, you know, so, um, the wind at the moment. Which will be oh, Shav gets creation. hit by the Shackle this that time. Shackle? Yeah, what? another one. Yeah, a Shackle, a Shackle cone range is very dumb, to say the least. Oh, that cone was like a perpendicular angle, Jesus. <laughs> well, the force staff just proved its money's worth. It just saved him, and it saved, I think, Finley before. Totally beats out uh, the blink. So I just want the GSP hat. to get a Shiva's. That fluffy hat. That's what does uh, it. Just because super value against Lena. Uh, it gives you vision in the fight. It, yeah. It's just good. And it's decent against Ursa as well. Uh, the pipe the, is not terrible, is it? Builds the AC. Sorry, say again? No, the pipe is... I guess the pipe is not good for the same reason the Glimmer wasn't good, right? Like, it's just... Yeah, it's just unnecessary. Yeah. yeah, it's just extra gold being spent on, uh, spent on something you don't need. But he ends up buying it anyway, so whatever, I guess. It's proof that he's not listening to the cast. Very true. But we said it more than five minutes ago, so... No stream he was swiping here. <laughs> um, Lena's Ghost Scepter. Okay, so she does have way, a way to like help her stay alive, sort of. Well, like, like both the Death Prophet oh, and the Lena have the Ghost Scepter, of... but they both yeah, died in the last fight. It didn't help him at all. Yeah. The, pro the, uh, the problem is that, like, there's a lot of mixed damage on Envy, right? So yeah. it's really hard to itemize against all of this. Uh, and Lifesteal will probably get Nullifier eventually, too. Oh, the Great Ward over Honestly, here. Honestly, I, I really dislike the Basher on Lifestealer he here. He didn't need it. If you just go AC, Scotty, and then get a Nullifier, uh, then no, you're, good. Escape. you're good to go. You already slow an immense amount. Basher is really unnecessary, in my opinion. It's not like you're trying to face, like, or like one man. I, I can't speak English. Um, man fight the life stealer, right? Like, which is not life stealer, Ursa. Which is they're when you would so, want the Basher to so fight careful. the Ursa. Yeah. They're not. They're not like pushing very hard, and they're like going one at a time. So they're letting yeah. Ibad push out the lanes. <laughs> It's it's this... because they put the Aegis on on the Wind Ranger for whatever reason. Uh, should have been on the Life Stealer. That way they could actually like walk up and hit the high ground buildings. But they might just go high ground anyways as long as Willow heads over to the mid lane. Oh, they this is something there? I noticed from from part of MV is that they. I mean, honestly, all the all the Legend Contender League teams um, they, going high ground is delayed typically by a little bit just because like handling waves and stuff and knowing which part of the map to control is is not very clear a lot of the time very true like they had a timing there with the catapult and they still have one on the top wave so they might oh, be waiting on that on oh, GHP on to shove and he forced out to the high ground oh, <gasps> but, no, oh phantom got forced, forced out oh, as dude. well Oh, Who forced off Life Stealer? Did someone try to force off Shove? He yeah, got moved. Finley. I think the I think it was a disruptor. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a disruptor. yeah. That was he hilarious. Forced that was so unfortunate. 
And then the structure tried to force just, pass them. Just oh, trying to be helpful. Just trying to be helpful. And then you die. That's what you get for being helpful. This is why... <laughs> oh, they're gonna get the stun on to Urso. The Luna Blade goes out on the snow, but doesn't quite kill her. Infest uh, gets some HP. Exorcism goes out. Oh, that nice shackle oh, no. hits onto four heroes. Really big. Shackle hurts on the two, though. Really down goes Shackle. Down, down goes Lena. Lena buys back immediately. Shaw buys Five back X. as well. Snow's second life has arrived. Exo down. Exo's down. Glimpse onto Biggie, and Biggie dies just quickly. And they pop a smoke really quick. Oh, cool. Yeah, someone. I have to leave. The Wind Ranger saw the smoke, though, so. That was, that was lucky. They're still chasing. Phantoms. Phantom. Why oh. is he going crimson oh. garden pipe? Oh, can they do it? Phantom, your thing's over though. Oh, okay, just get out of there, Phantom. Get out of there. Get oh, out yeah. of there. Get out of there. Okay, Shackle Heights on the two. There's a terror rise. It's on the three. And Phantom is about to go down. Down goes Phantom. Kinetic kills or whatever. Shackle Heights has been dropped. Play. Empower hit by Orpheus. Shackle shot to interrupt Orpheus's TP. Yules to cancel out the enrage. Bad Max running away, but Orpheus is going to go down most likely. There's the bash. Down he goes. Dark Lola is playing with her food to the Shav. Shav four staffs to the low ground, though. He is too good. Too this pro. Is by four staff. This guy's a genius. No this four staff okay. was so smart. This is, this is it. This is making the game. I have been big brained by an Archon. Bog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Actually, but they're hanging really around way too long. Oh wait, no, he's ancient one. Caught. Never mind. I'm wrong. I got big brain by an ancient one. Okay. Oh, I don't it was so it. close. It. it was so oh, close. No. It was like right next to this spot. Why? Okay. Okay. No wind. So there's well. Why are the only wind and Jakiro hitting towers though? Right. No. Oh, it's a, no. We got it's fine. The other ones are chasing on down a four staff hero. The Phantom will take on this thing. So, five yeah, That's gonna basically be two sets of Rex. Ursa's back. They Lina's still don't have uh, The X is up to eight. Shav. Oh, Please and don't. the Bramble just not locked again. Burrito, you've been so close twice in a row. You were so close. Uh. How long has Burrito been working on uh, Yules for, by the way? <laughs> Approximately like 15 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> it has been queued up for quite yeah. some time. He, he keeps dying in these fights um, after getting a kill, but that that terrorize and the bramble maze um, to save the life stealer and then kill three people was, the was impressive. Was awesome. Yeah, it was very good. They oh, just oh, chased oh. too long. She's got like, the shard. That's what happened. So she had the she had the yule, but she got the shard. That that's why it changed. Oh, the bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus I like the shard. shard. Super good on Willow. Like he yules to like get out of stuff, but there's still a bramble when you like land on the ground, so you no longer are countered by yules as badly. Oh, yeah. Very, it's very hard to dodge. You can you can actually walk out of it, uh, but it is very hard to do it. You, have, you need to have like a small enough collision size on your hero. There's enough things going on that it makes it very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got. Scotty on life stealer now, so now he's even Ooh. harder to kill. Do you think they go high ground here? Like, like they just they want to fight? They I should. So. Are they gonna raise her? Yeah, they, like they, both teams have everything up, right? But um, like obviously, as we have seen, uh, Envy's like overall like this team fight. I guess you could say it's just better, just because Stampede owns everything that uh, Ibat is trying to do. I bet just hasn't gotten the optimal team fight off because they just keep getting surprised. Yeah. They're it's TPing a, bottom, they're not pushing rough. here. GSP is out with his uh, Crimson Guard. <laughs> Tiny almost has a blink done, so the supports on uh, Envy are going to... Looks like they're gonna just going to wait for Roche. Roche. That, 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 that's Roche basically what they usually do. Oh, yeah. it, is, it is available. Whoa, they it's like that was like the first instant spawn. They should put Shard on the center, I think. He's got a key. What is this? As the double edge bonus? Yeah, you get bonus strength off double edge. How about open wounds, though? Open wounds Global is so cool. Shot. Open wounds is definitely useful. It's just like life stealer is manifold. Like, obviously, it's Scotty now, so it's a lot easier. But, um, it's. It's still just like so much mana. And both the fives already have the shards, so we don't need to worry about them. The power shot is kind of a meme. I like it but for they, vision, but they, does like, open wounds great. work with uh, 
Like, it does the thing now where it does 2% of the target's health per attack for when anyone attacks them. So does that work with Focus Fire, or would that be too OP? Oh, it does work with Focus Fire. Wouldn't that be legit? It, it's, it, it's every single pretty one. gimmicky, in percent. my opinion, because Ursa can always just enrage off the open wounds, and That's then like, Lena almost does BKB as well. Uh, it does have BKB, actually. There's a blank on Tiny, by the way. He just purchased it. Nice. Okay. Buying out. They'll take Roche here, so oh, they're, gonna, they're not gonna notice. They pushed out all the waves. This is good. Um, and now they just go take Roche on for free because they have yeah. to push the waves back out. Who are they gonna give it to? Probably GSP. But I'm hoping for open wounds. Death Prophet has not purchased a single real item besides Yules this game. I would like for her to do something. With the, she has these... Solar Crest now. So Solar that's... Crest is coming out. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. But Life Stealer honestly doesn't care about that. <laughs> yeah. I think you, you're gonna be Solar Why Crest. We got open even... wounds! We I got really open don't wounds! I like them putting Aegis on the uh. Wind Ranger? She's yeah. not the tower hitter, so you don't need it on Wind Ranger, yeah. We've got open wounds. Biggie? Oh god, Snow is uh, gonna lose both of her lives. Gotta be maybe? real careful here. Oh god, Snow gets Avalanche. Oh, but it's only like no He's fine. He's got BKB. He has PG, he has PG. Okay, you can't, you can't nah, see that. he didn't have vision. What's happening mid? What on earth? We oh, got Dark Willow versus the world. Oh, there's the Laguna Blade in the silence. There was the Willow there. That's that's just a that's the that was, special. That is what we uh, classify as a feed. Yeah, he has been described as both winning and losing the same game for you. Um, <laughs> Space was created or or fun. So they're going to push the third lane where they don't have it. Where they <laughs> the only lane they have a tower in to push. They've decided to go take over that part of the map. They got it. Oh, then they're going to leave. Oh, there says enough for BKB but saving him. Saving for buyback right now. Uh, oh, Ursa's so got the Atma a, Shard. Uh, I like Ursa Shard. It's so good. It is so good. No, yeah, Ursa Shard is definitely super valued. It's a lot better than what it was before. Yeah, he did um, that one. Where six it was like every six hits. Fury swipes six hits. Yeah, yeah it was uh, really dumb. If it was like if opinion. it was like six hits like at all, but it's six hits on the same target, which is way that's way too long. Well, what yeah, you do so is you put five like, hits on them, five different targets, and then you hit each of them once to get ma like max duration. Sorry. Oh yeah, I guess you could do that. <laughs> well, I, I actually, it has to be. I, I'm pr I was pretty sure it's supposed to be like six hits in a row on a target. Like, yeah, straight, yeah. But, yeah. It's oh, whatever. No, I thought it was, it was a really stacks. stupid chart. I thought it was six of the yeah, of the Fury Swipe stack. I mean, for yeah, only 25 hits, you get a six very stacks, stupid yeah. chart, so that's what <laughs> Very much so. But I'm liking the, the idea of just get five too. hits on five heroes and then just chain them all together. Just, just, just So, test. Phantom is drawing lines on the map, which is saying he wants to push these top and mids. Ooh. Um, I don't know, or bottom and mid, I don't know why they're not pushing just like top lane and taking that with like, liquid fire. Tiny sports uh, staff for the win once again. Whatever. To be honest, but like again, they should have the ages on life stealer that way they like could have gone. Oh god, Phantom has to be so careful. Oh, he gets out of the connect field just in time. That would have been so good. Ice path connects onto one person and then the bramble rate mazes. Life Striker oh, once again. Shop links forward, but gets Yules. Phantom has the rage. There's a four star forward and down goes okay, shot so quickly. Life Striker does not land. GSP gets a stun on the two. Terry Rice hits out onto two as on the three. But it quickly wears off, down goes Finley, Finley buys back at once, stun onto Phantom, Shackle shot onto Orpheus all by his lonesome, he doesn't have, an, oh he has Enrage, he pops the BKB. He has, he has real Enrage and Urshock Enrage. He buys back at once, oh Dark Willow, Mr. Burrito goes down, Phantom is going back in, does he really want to? He does have cheese if he needs to. Objective he bursts out of there, he oh, takes down Morpheus oh for the Insane second time. Shackle, the Die way. back by everyone, I think. And GG's called. <laughs> Part of Envy, a real I contender here. No they just like that. Two diebacks. Okay. I bet, I bet is no longer undefeated. I'm sorry, I bet. So easily not sees Part of Envy as top bracket, right? Like, they're just automatically top bracket. Um, well, no, if, yeah, oh, Ibad is, but. This POE is now eight, but they beat Ibad. Like, who's going to ever seed them below? 
if someone won two games, I think if one of the seven and they have a the tiebreak, I had a head to head to head tiebreak maybe, but yeah, this would win a tiebreak. It's got to. You 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 beat yeah. the number one. You beat I bet. You beat Mad Max. <laughs> you beat the team. Yeah. No. Unfortunately, the the four kills at the very start of the game uh, kind of uh, screwed Ivet over in the lanes. So that was just crazy. Instantly higher, and then everyone hit level two beforehand, and then they got like eight or nine kills just without anything on the other side. That was pretty. pretty Do we want to drag someone in for a for an interview? Do you want to? No. We can't. I, I, don't, I haven't yeah. really done that, but might as well. Yeah, bring. Let's bring GSP in. No. No. Let's let's bring. Um. Please <laughs> talk to that man. Let's bring Phantom in. Let's see. Phantom has a party to go to. Phantom oh has a party gosh. to go to. All right, we can grab one of these guys. I'm sure. I'll just invite everyone. I'll just yeah, just invite Burrito. Wait, how do there I even go. invite people? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, my cat there, just. Uh, if you're friends with them, you can add them to the DM, and they'll be added to the call. Oh, it's because I'm on the other. I was in the. I was in the tab version. That doesn't work. Okay. Add friends. Phantom. Right. Add. There, added Phantom. Who else do I know? Um. Phantom is going to decline. Okay. Or well, should add decline. Biggie. He has a party to go to. Oh no, bringing I... Biggie and no, no. Oh no, didn't... okay, not Biggie. Should I remove Biggie? Oh well, no, All I right. don't care. Burrito <laughs> just accepted my friend request. How do I add him to the call? Oh no, Biggie's here. Give me out. I I don't I don't know I don't have Burrito. <laughs> my fingers slipped. Whoa, it's Biggie. Hey guys. How how does it, fe it feel to feed in games? Play like game one. Both games. Both games. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, hold up, hold up, guys. Really quick. Biggie there in that last fight juked the Lena stun, turned around, and Yules the guy who jumped on him, and then ice pathed everybody. That was impressive. First of all, impressive. Tiny, Tiny has no amount of. It took him longer for uh, me to misclick two times to Yules <laughs> Tiny than it took <laughs> to him to toss to me. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what is going through his mind, but uh, I should have died that fight, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, what were your thoughts on game one? What, like, what, what do you think happened there? What do you mean? What do you think? This is a crowd. It kind of died. It kind of went terribly. I'm asking, like, what were your thoughts on game <laughs> one? There were none. That's the problem. Uh, you're just a bra brainless support player. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Understandable. I, I, I see. You did. I mean, I took your advice quite a few times. I took your advice. You did not take my advice. Isn't that you what fed. you wanted? No, you fed. You kept. You feeding. don't want me to take your advice. All right, I will keep oh that my towel Lord. as my last so, note. You don't even listen to me. <laughs> what was your opinion on the uh, on the four kill at the? Why don't you do that every game where you kill four yeah. people at the bounty room? Four kills at the beginning. We 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 expected we expected it, but we didn't expect Lena to be coming up the stairs first, which was the mistake in the first place. I mean, that, that kind of set first. the mood for the oh, whole I game. Know. I mean, you got yeah, everyone so... got level two first before everyone else. It was it was oh, no, cool. we, we thrive no, no. on hey. we thrive on momentum. We we love it, and we carried it in in every lane. Most certainly. Honestly, I would say that like that that momentum got you level two first in two different lanes, and then proceeded to just like result in kills across the map. It was really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, and you you can't well, walk also up that tall that tall staircase. Yeah, that was alone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would say the most impressive thing was that Dust Raptor managed to glimpse Phantom back into a static storm when Phantom had his like enrage up. What was your? Yeah, um, that was me thinking. Ah, I'll probably be fine. It was a bit of cockiness. <laughs> um, Learn to press buttons, sir. Hey, or, I press. Or... That's my buttons a lot in that game. That was my one mistake. I'm allowed to have it. No, no, you're not. Okay. You shouldn't have died, period. Okay. I just wanted to make everyone else feel better. I didn't want to have a perfect game. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. You gotta give him yeah. gotta give him a shot. That's a weak mindset. 
it's a if only, if only coaching was so easy, just press your buttons faster. Just press your buttons faster. I would be All a right. great coach. Yeah, I uh, I do have to head out though. Um, sorry, I can't stay. Yeah, long. go party, man. Well, thanks for dropping in yeah, for a sec. Yeah, my pleasure. Congrats mm -hmm. on the victory. Thank you. Yep, yep. Good job on showing that you get, uh, that iBad is not unbeatable. That was they important. do stupid shit like beating four kills at the start of a game. Yeah, I. I... It was nice stuff. Well, th thanks, Biggie, I'm for allowed coming. To play I'm, Mad gonna, Max. I'm gonna go to sleep now. But Alrighty. It was it was yep, fun to cast the sleep. game. Yeah, thanks for. Uh, hope you're feeling better after the uh, the second shot. Oh, of course, a lot, a lot better. Or flu shot, COVID shot. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, All right. Good night, y'all. Good, Good night. Good night. Good job, Biggie. Oh, yeah. And see you later, everyone. That's it. That's it. So I'm sure I'll be back. Oh, I was going to be back on Sunday or on Saturday, but it appears that the CEA game got pushed until the next weekend. So I think this is it until next Thursday or whenever the playoffs happen. Yeah, this is Alleviate signing off. Thanks again to Harb, to Indeed and Harb for co-casting and to FOMO and Barry, of course. And congrats to both teams. They went one, they went one and one. Uh, Pot of Envy versus I bought Artifact for the Dota Plus. We'll see where they end up in the playoffs starting soon. <laughs>